<laughs> you know, we could have been playing Haunted Castle tonight. We could have. We could have. But no, it had to be chance time. It's like people like this segment or something. Good evening. <sighs> like people don't want to give us money. Uh, hello, Charky. Hey, Cass. For those who don't know, earlier today, I, I attempted to to pivot away from, from chance time. We decided on chance time over the weekend. And you know how I feel about chance time. You know how I feel about this segment personally. Mm -hmm. And so I offered an alternative. I offered an, an opportunity to the audience to experience something new, hot off the presses. A remaster of Haunted Castle. The Castlevania arcade game, the original Castlevania arcade game, no one bit. And so here we are, stuck in the middle. Uh, this is chance time, bad game chance time. Uh, that makes it legally distinct from uh, Nintendo's and, and Mario Party's own chance time. This is the we show- We made all these, we made all the sound effects and music for this ourselves. Yep, and the graphics are definitely not evocative of any other existing uh, chance times that I'm aware of. This is all just came right out of my brain and I put it on the screen when I produced the segment. This is, that's a shame. I produced the segment. I created this. This is, yeah. I have no one to blame but myself, really. This is the show where we play bad games, but uh, what bad games and who plays them? Uh, that, that's up to the spin of the blocks. The, the, uh, the heart of the blocks. I didn't, I was trying to find some way to say heart of the cards, but sure. Uh, you see these blocks here, when we stop them, they determine in order a console, a genre, and the poor schmuck who's going to be stuck playing it. Uh, usually, consistently, this is meant that I play SNES platformers, which is my, my combination of my least favorite genre and my least favorite platform. And it just so happens that we get this nearly every show. We've done six of these so far. This is the seventh. And I somehow I feel I feel like it's gonna hit today. I feel I feel like we're gonna get that combo again. I feel like it's unavoidable, inescapable, inevitable, really. You know, by the nature of chance time, there is a chance that you never play a game for tonight. That would be good. That would be fine by me, honestly. Uh, that, that would be all right. But I mean, that that would interfere with my plans for tonight's stream. What I usually always do while we stream. I think you know what that is. It's time for Sharky's Stream Snack. Please to take it away. All right, tonight's snack is Farm Rich Stuffed Mini Sweet Peppers. Uh, so instead of like stuffed jalapeno poppers, they're red pepper. And you know what? They're all right. It's like a not at all spicy jalapeno popper. So. That's fine. I don't get the hiccups while I eat this and play. Is that a concern? Is that a going concern that you get hiccups from eating? Oh, I'll get hiccups every now and then if I have some spicy, like a, you know, and even lightly spicy, like a jalapeno popper. I like it spice, but, uh, you know, sometimes I go, <clears throat> if I'm doing that. So it helps, I think, with commentary. That's uh, fair. What also helps with commentary is when I'm highly caffeinated. So that's why I'm also having... Alani knew Witch's Brew. I did they, did they conjure this in the forest? If you check where it was produced, did it say a witch's hut in the uh, middle of the enchanted forest? Let's see. Louisville, uh, Kentucky. There might be a witch's coven there, for all I know. Maybe. Well, let's give this a shot. I believe this is a seasonal flavor. Let's see. Mmm. Sour apple. With, oh, that uh, makes sense. Okay, that makes with, sense. Yep. Yeah, uh, caramel in the back end. Strong caramel in the back end. Yeah, that's good. That is good. I, Alani You're... has been hit or miss. Mostly miss. But I think this is a good one. Every time you drink an Alani drink, a witch cackles in the distance. <laughs> Just according to plan. <laughs> They're drinking my gluten-free vegan drink. <laughs> Well, it's vegan except for the rabbit's blood and the, the other ceremonial stuff they put in there. But you, you got to check the ingredients for that. Yeah. Car carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, rabbit blood. Yeah. I mean, it's part. Of, it's a necessary part of the concoction. This I, is that's the caramel flavor. This is a weird thing. We talked about hiccuping, uh, mm -hmm. and this is a way to artificially extend the stream snack segment and put off the the actual show. Uh, 
Are you, I, I can't burp. Did you know this about me? Oh, I did not know this. I, I have never burped <laughs> in my life. Someday you're going to explode like that guy in Big Trouble in Little China. I think there's an actual medical condition attached to it. I don't remember the name of it ever, and it's something I've been meaning to get checked to like confirm that I have. It's not like a serious medical malady or anything. It just means that, for whatever reason, I am not biologically wired to to burp. K4 Boom asks, how do you expel gas then? Take a wild guess. <laughs> so, so have you ever like just tried to like chug a bunch of soda in your life and like see what happens? Or yeah. chug a beer? No, absolutely. I mean, I'm always chugging beers, as, as you well know. Uh, and nope, I mean, like different. shotgunning. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Yeah, no, it, just, it doesn't weird. happen for me. It's just one of those weird, one of the many mysteries of Cass. And, and there are a few. I do, I do, however, get steam coming out of my ears with like a train whistle sound effect. So no, that of course. might be where it's happening. Wait, you're telling me that doesn't happen to everyone? When, when they eat spicy <laughs> stuff? Are you telling me that's a... Usually only when I see like a burlesque dancer on stage. <laughs> Very good. Unfortunately, that means with that little uh, segment done, that means it is time for us to play Chance Time. Get the music going. And let's get that. Chance Time! Okay. We are off to the races. I think I go first on these. I think I usually... Sure. Uh, I'm going to start with left to right. It's never failed us, except for all the times it's failed us. Mm-hmm. Just plenty. All right, give me a console. NES. That's close to SNES, but not quite. I'll take this. Give platformer, me. Platformer. Platformer. A genre. Oh, an arcade style game for the NES. Wow, this is this is a new one. Yeah, I added this. This is meant to score, uh, refer to any sort of like score attack type of game. I, I define an arcade game, uh, arcade as a genre, as a score attack, as something that falls outside of conventional genre norms, but it has a scoring element. You know, I'd also include like maze games. I'd probably include some shmups here, honestly, too, of like their looping shmups. Yeah, I, I, was, I honestly thought you might have changed Shooter to this. No, 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 no. Shooter is still on the list. But uh, we should really figure out who's going to play it. Uh, then we can figure out okay. what the game itself is actually going to be. All right, who's stuck holding the bag? It's oh, be me. You. All right, no, uh, that's a good start. This is interesting. This opens up interesting possibilities. Of course, the audience will have to give us a minute as we, as I go through some of my NES and Famicom games here. Oh, you know what? But I think I do have a shooter in mind. Just gotta find right, it here. Me. Ah, there it is. This is a, a shmup, oh. but it is a, a classic arcade as well. It is, yeah. I recognize this name. Do you? <laughs> I do, yeah. I never played it, but I recognize it. Well, there's a first time for everything. Uh, let's cut to the four by three. And let's launch Doughboy, 1985's Doughboy, developed and uh, published by Kemco. Uno momento. Oop, I actually need to hook into the game. That would probably help. And that's the story. Signsoft. I wonder if that's the actual developer, or if this was like licensed in some sort of way. If there was an arcade version of this, or there is an arcade version, and that must be okay. I'm putting the pieces together in my head right now. I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> uh, let's make it like this. All right, you should be able to proceed. Okay. Let's do game A. So the general idea of the game, according to the launch box description I have up for it right now, is that the player must rescue a POW from a POW camp. And I'm assuming that's on the right-hand side of the screen. Yeah, this is like a predecessor to uh, Commando, more or less. Now, if you look at it sideways, quite literally. Now, I do believe that there is a score element to this game that is based on time and your utilization of equipment and such. 
I'm picking up a lot of different things. TNT, ladders, mines. Uh, yeah, next stage, please. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a Commodore 64 game, or initially, not an arcade game. Oh. Ten Coats. This might not be an arcade game after all. Oh, well. We're stuck of it now. We're, it's too late now. You know what I was thinking of? I was I was thinking of a different game. I thought Doughboy was... Oh, there it is. Frontline. Taito's Frontline, I thought, which is like nah. the original top-down shooter. Is the original, uh, like, pre-Commando, I believe. Oh, I've definitely heard Doughboy in the same conversation. I mean, this is definitely proto shmup. This, this is this is yeah. proto shooter of this nature, proto commando, and so forth. Uh, and Ball no. Gang helps out. Uh, someone in the chat asked uh, what a doughboy is, uh, and Ann Ball Gang has the answer here: an American infantryman, especially one from World War One. So this is a period shooter, historical game. I don't know how to use any of these things because I see like well. Never mind. There's I'm your score. The... See? Yeah. Score chase. I'm picking up all this TNT and fuses and mines and stuff, and I assume I can lay it down, but every time I hit B, it just says none. And maybe it'll be on this stage here. Maybe you collect equipment in the first stage. You have an option to abort mission. I do. Can I walk in the water? I mean, I can, but... But it's not advisable. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I almost... Huh? I bet you need to put ladders across the water or something to that effect. Wait, hold on. How do they spell ladders? One sec. Ladators, or ladayers. Ladayers. Well, you know, A is, uh, you know, close to D on the keyboard. Uh, okay. Okay, so you have TNT equipped right now. I bet the TNT blows up the satellites. Press select again. Or start, or whatever button you were going to cycle through your inventory. That's the thing. I don't know what. There are two buttons. I hit B and nothing happens. It goes beep, beep, beep. A is... If I just press A, nothing happens. But if I hold A, I shoot. This might be one of those games where I need to look at the manual. Doughboy Manual NES. Keep banging your head against it in the meantime. We're running out of time. <laughs> no one has scanned this manual. I will have to look at... Okay, I'm looking at the Game FAQs page for it. Controls. Yeah, kind of hard to control this game. I'm warning you now. This is not very user-friendly and can be extremely frustrating. Cycle through the inventory with the A button. It isn't always working well. You may need to hold down the button for a second or two. If you only quickly tap the A button with the direction key, you will shoot your gun that way. Use no, the B fuck. button to place ladders as well as picking them up again. Hold A and walk away to place down TNT and its fuse. The more you walk away, the longer the wire will burn. As soon as you let it go, it will be ignited, so make sure you are far enough away. To place a mine, simply press A once. Yeah, so like let go of it here and then... Oh, and you can use I'm... those as bridges! I presume. Yes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized the game is very low in the mix. That's on me. What? You hold A. Then walk away. And you just start shooting. Okay, I'm holding A. Hold A. They did warn us that it would be not that's not very user friendly. Hold A. You know, when you have two buttons on a controller, uh you know, I, I guess, you know, there is also select menu. What does start do? Does that. that. And select what does select does do? this. Hey, just turn select. these into one fucking screen. Just make both of these one screen and make the select button select your stuff. Yeah. Doi! <laughs> I, it won't let me drop a... Okay, where do I drop it? Here. Okay, I couldn't drop it above the thing. No, I had to of course drop not. Why would you be able to? I wouldn't... It's not in the army handbook. I think you can't drop it. No, okay, that's not happening. 
whole day. I'm gonna whole day for a while. I'm gonna. Uh, I shouldn't have looked at chat. <laughs> I would have saw that bullet coming. Ay ay ay. Hold it. Hey, this game sucks. Yeah. I don't care. I just like, I'm sure there's someone out there who's like, this is actually the most innovative game for the Commodore, and the original creator's a genius. Well, don't work on NES. I can tell you that much. Whole day. And he just starts shooting. Maybe you need to be quicker on the. No? You're. This is obscene how badly this controls. I, I've done it sometimes. Now, okay, now I could do it. So. Nope. I was stuck in that. Game over. All right, I'm giving this a shot. All right, well, let's. One quick. What is game B? The same. All right, you want to give it a shot? Did you select game B? I did select game B. Game A is when describing like, the walkthrough. When you play game B, the computer will fire missiles at you for an added challenge. You'll have to avoid okay. these attacks for the entire game. Game In two-player mode, the second player uses the D-pad to aim the missile. This can help to defeat enemies, but one must be careful not to harm player one. You want to be my backup? Do you want to shoot missiles for me? On sure. my behalf? Okay. All right, let's go save that POW. All right. Yeah, stage one is gather supplies. Stage two is uh, fail to use those supplies. Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. So I have to hold the button, and then whenever I release the button is when it explodes. Just be careful not to hit me. Oh, I can see where I'm aiming, too, on the... Oh, they stuck up behind me. Yeah. Shot me in the back. There, I got a kill. Get that guy behind the tree, please. Thank you. This is a weird way to do multiplayer. It's neat though. This asymmetrical multiplayer, oh, yeah. is, like this assisted, not, like this is this is not like, bad, not bad, but weird. <laughs> this is at least like a novel idea. And this game was in desperate need of a novel idea. It won't Fuck let me that. shoot missiles I, I don't now. want that. I, I don't want that death. I can't shoot any more missiles. I, there's a missile right there, but I can't shoot it. Maybe because you're danger close. I, I feel like that's never been a concern. <laughs> wow, these guys are quick on the draw. Maybe you're out of missiles. <laughs> no. Oh, now I am. Okay, maybe I am out of missiles. Doesn't tell me how many missiles I have. Don't pick up the rest of the stuff first. Yeah. That guy just died. He just got out of the trench and immediately got gotten. All right. There's no need for me to. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if you can just blow up the fucking towers for me. That's that's what I'm thinking. Why are we playing taps? We haven't died yet. I want to see you try this. Yeah, give me a second. Like, inscrutable. <laughs> see, that worked. Yeah, that is... Oh, and I have a stupid idea. So I can. I figured it out. What is it? If I do it here, I can't do the TNT. Mm -hmm. If I do it here, you need to be offset. You cannot be occupying a specific space on the grid. You need to be a half step as opposed to a full step. Well, okay. So for example, here mm -hmm. would be good because I have an arm hanging off. Here, Oh, wait, no. Maybe I had that. I have it right, though. I have the general principle right. Now I just need to get out of this corner and not die. Yeah. You, remember, you can set a longer fuse by holding it down as you walk yes. away. What is this? Nothing. Of no idea. Okay. So here? I guess it does work, but it went down. 
Oh, maybe that's the trick. Maybe it's just like there needs to be space below me. That's the trick. Oh, okay. That's why you couldn't do it when it was above before. Oh my god! Relentless. It wouldn't let me shoot. You know what? It it, it's fine. I'll take a death on that. That's a fair death. I think I had one missile in this level because it didn't let me shoot again. I think Trying we'll manage. That boat. I think we'll be alright. I think I'll survive somehow. Some way. Did you hit select for me? I, I didn't know if there was a thing that just said, hey, how, here's how many missiles you have, too. No, it was a good guess. I mean, you, they should have had, like, a missile count there, but... Alright, I want to do it here. Okay. Thank God for trees. Yeah, it doesn't materially improve the quality of the game, knowing how the TNT works. It's still a obtuse system that I don't love, but uh, at least we're making progress now. Round one, map two. It never ends. But now we have barrels. Oh, but I need to use the clippers here, I believe. Yes. Now, how do you change items in your inventory? Uh, let me let me look here. They they had a thing about when equipping the wire clipper, press against the fence and slowly press the B button a few times. Cool. All right. Well, let me... at least we're through. What about these barrels? I'm guessing you blow them up. Is that what they did in the intro? Aye, aye, aye. Oh, maybe I should use that in the tank. I think that tank does not really seem. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that tank I'm was about to leave. I'm getting the fuck out of here. That tank was about to leave, and I was like, "Wasn't I here to do something?" All oh, right, shoot the soldier. There's Snip on here, through. Except for me. Oh no! How the fuck do I get out of here? Maybe I need to blow up the tank. Well, well I did blow it. up the walls too. It's, it's really just not letting me shoot missiles anymore. I got one missile on this stage, and I can't shoot anymore. Maybe you blew them out all at the beginning of the game. Okay. I'm just blowing up all these barrels now, I guess. And walking directly into enemy gunfire. Maybe I should walk down. The other way? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Why would it give me such a limited number of missiles? And also not tell me I have such a limited number of missiles. It's such an effective tool that, you know... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think it has to do with the edges of the screen. I, yeah. I think, like, as it's... you get closer to the right-hand side, it's just like, well, that's it. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. Oh, you know what's cool? When the screen flashes white and you can't see the enemy gunfire anymore because all their bullets are just white. That's actually really cool. Oh, there's the key. In the last barrel on the screen. I'm just gonna dodge that bullet. I could use your assist here. Thank you! I figured that would be the end of the level once I got the key, but oh well. No, I think I still need to escape all the way over here. Alright, I can't help you. I was trying to get the TNT out. There we go. Well, whatever. Oh well. <laughs> I wonder if this game ever ends. I wonder if there's, like, any point we're working towards. I wonder if we're ever going to see that POW. I, I bet there's a level where you save the POW and then it loops back to the start, but harder. Yeah, that's that would that's what would make it an arcade game. We need to qualify it. We need to... I mean, I could also... There. <laughs> that's, there's a better hole. Right, you need ladders for this. Probably. I'll cut the wire here and... You have ladders in your inventory. You should. Okay. Use the B button to place ladders as well as picking them up. Do we have ladders? Yeah, we have... Oh, no, sorry. We have ladders. Oh, okay. Use the B button to place ladders as well as pick... I wonder if it has you to be, to, like, a particular angle. inventory. How do I... There's, there's no doing that, though. There is no, like, selecting an inventory. Did, didn't it say that in the thing? 
that you have to hit A or something? No, it's just you cycle through stuff because of, uh, what do you call it? It's like the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom arcade game, you know, where you have all these quote-unquote items in your quote-unquote inventory, but you don't really, like, well, I guess you do select them in that game. I guess I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Come on! Maybe the manual would help with this? I don't know, but this is... You can see your inventory pressing select. You can also quit the game by hitting abort. Yeah. Start to see statistics. Anything. I am pressing the shit out of the B button. Maybe A and B at the same time. <laughs> oh my god! You just have what? to hold it down forever. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and then B to pick it back up. Oh wait, hold on, let me... All right. Yeah, can't, can't do oh. anything anymore. I gotta go over the red. Wait, I have an idea. It's wait, no. Now. It went away. That's fine. I'll take that. I guess that means it's coming back, but... Oh, no, 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 no. I was stuck in wire cutters mode, and it made me not able to move. Because of the wonderful button mapping here. I hope this level ends. Okay, yeah. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a time limit on this game. You have 24 hours, uh, which is reflected in the in-game time. Oh, come on. Come Do you have an item? Do you have an item that would fix this situation? Well, okay, if you get blown up, I guess. Wait. I see what you're doing. Technically works. I can't blow up the mines, though. That's fine. This is good enough. I just gotta find a way around. How would you do this in single player? I wonder. There's no item that would theoretically help with that, right? The no. Mine, mine fuse. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Just Stop shooting for a second. He, yeah, theoretically, if you use TNT. That's a very limited resource. Like, you got all your resources in level one. You've never picked up anything past that. Although now I can't shoot, so you're on your own. Yeah. Now, this building what? down here, is this yeah. where the POW is? Or do I have to blow up every house? I I'm assume leaning towards have to blow up every... Oh, wait. Yeah, there's a special... You know what? I think it the is title screen, every house. Yeah, the title screen did show you blowing up a house. I feel like... Uh, okay. You might be right. Maybe there's a green key. Oh, wait. Now that you're... Oops. Yeah, rewind. No, that, that's fine. Wait, no, there's a the whole minefield, minefield over here. Fuck that. Yeah. All right. Move a little bit. Give me two seconds first. Let me just get this goddamn house. I bet if I, I step into the say, spotlight, I'm fucked, too. Yeah. I was about to say, let me take it out missiles. <laughs> yeah, get the bottom one while I get this top one. All right, well, if you, if you move, I can't see where I can detonate. Oh, what I think happened? I died somehow. I got warped here? Let me let me see that again. Oh, I was too the, close to my the, own TNT. You're too close. Yeah, okay. I, okay, I need to move down. What right. a wretched Can... little game. Uh, right. Wait, <laughs> I've, I've been back one. and forth on this, but uh, I've determined that I hate this. Yeah, well, good to know we've done the science. It, this level is what really unsold me on this. Yep. It's the Thought Police. They heard you. <laughs> Blow up that? Okay, and there's like a silo next to you. That's all that's left. 
Of course. The key. It's always the last thing you blow up. It's always the last place to check, yeah. Do I need to blow up this house now? Uh, absolutely. Well, the POW is going to be a little harmed by this, I think. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's get out of here! Where? Good question. What if you have to go through the entire game backwards? I think you have to go through the entire game backwards. And of course, he's stuck. Hope I don't actually need him to reach the end. Did you kill he's him? Dead. I did not kill him. He killed himself. He went, He walked into a mine. Well, that's okay. unacceptable to me. Leave leave the minefield. Like, rewind past the mine for the minefield. Because I can probably blow open the hole. Big enough for me to walk through? Yeah. Gotta hurry a little bit, but... No, okay. there's, there's black shit in the way there. I don't not be able to walk over that, right? Okay, what about up here? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to clear a path for No, I, I get that, but... Uh, wait, rewind, I accidentally blew him up. Okay. This is gonna have to be good enough. We only have limited time, too. Yeah. So just keep blowing up so I can see the light. We both died that time. Yep. At least I didn't die alone. Well, here's a problem. This guy's pathfinding is, uh, fucky. Oh, thank God. Good luck. Good luck? Good luck with what? We won! Or maybe you had good luck, and that is why you won. Round one, map five, left five. Okay, yep, it looped. Oi vey! It's an arcade game. I appreciate chat you know, saluting. I'm just gonna wait out the rest of the war in this foxhole here, I think. That's all right, war ain't for me. I'll just desert, oh, never mind. I guess, I guess I'll go to executed. Great, uh, that was Doughboy. Uh, <laughs> for the NES, based on a Commodore game, I hear. Uh, and we called it an arcade game. Uh, that, that was an error on my part. We'll make sure it's Frontline next time, for the next time we get NES arcade game. We'll make sure we, uh, we do it proper. But, that's one game down tonight, and God knows how many more to go. <laughs> oh, I have two songs playing at once. There we go. And let's make sure these are rolling and make sure I hit my sound cue. Chance time! All right, there we go. Uh, your turn. You, you tell me when to stop them and tell me what order I'm stopping them in. All right. Uh, let's go right to left. So, who's playing? Go. Me you again. again. All right. Uh, genre, go. Arcade again. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll, fi maybe we'll fix our mistake. Uh, give me the NES. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Chance time new, chance time new, you fucked up, you gotta do it again. Do you realize the odds of this? Do you realize the odds of this happening? Do you yeah, realize this odds, is literally the random? The odds are, of course this happened. Those are the odds. <laughs> this is literally random. It's a video file that has so many frames of animation. I just hit the stop button and then it stops on whatever frame of animation. There's no bias here. There's no way for me to rig this. If there was a way to rig it, believe me, there would be no SNES games on this fucking show. Well, we called our Listen, shots. <laughs> the probability is one thing, but would it be funny trumps that. I suppose that is true. I suppose that is the overriding role. Hey, guess what you're playing? Yeah, Frontline? <laughs> yeah, we're going back to back on, on the military shooters today. Another Taito. Wait, no. What was the last one? Oh, uh, Kemco. Wasn't Kemco, yeah. And there's a little preview, a little teaser of what the game's all about. This one is a much shorter I game. I think it's like all of three stages. I like his running sprite. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think there's a two-player mode in this one. I don't think you can assist me with missiles or the other way around. Oh, there is a two-player. It's alternating two-player, guaranteed. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, hit start, you are in control. All right. All right. I love the grenade arc. They couldn't do a sprite, like, scaling up, like, to convey the feeling of going overhead. So they have to go, like, 
a roundabout. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I also it love this guy's gun stance. I love all their gun stances. Uh, enemy head over on there. a swivel, enemy head on a swivel. So Wait, this one is an arcade game. Why First do you get to walk through the trees? <laughs> Enemy's privilege. What's this flag on my on the back of my... Or is that well, supposed to be just like a knapsack? <laughs> I'm assuming <It's>, knapsack. <laughs> yeah, so Heck. just for, for point of reference, Frontline is a 1982 arcade game initially. Uh, it's a precursor to many similarly themed games of the mid to late 80s. Frontline is controlled the joystick, a single button, and a rotary dial that can be pushed in huh. like a button in the arcade. On the NES, it is obviously uh, slightly different. Did I just change the color palette by accident? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, let's let's keep with this. Let's, let's stick yeah. with this. Uh, yeah, there's oh. even an Atari 2600 version of this, which I can't imagine being any good. But yeah, this NES version comes to us uh, courtesy of, of Taito again, which probably means the outsource to some other developer, uh, some other ghost developer, maybe a Tose, who's to say? A and it came out perhaps. August 1st. 19th. If it was just a Micronic game, there'd be way more like sprites on the same line flashing in and out looking yeah particularly dire ah. <laughs> i would just push i would just uh not get hung up on anything i would just have forward momentum at all times here you can get inside that oh like a kari warrior style i don't remember how to do it but i know there is a way maybe from behind no you can't oh can you walk up from behind yep uh oh. Where there's a will, there's a way. Nope. <laughs> no, there was not. Okay. Come on. Come on. There are even two types of tanks available in the game. You know what? Maybe I don't need it. I think you do. Luckily, you don't, you're not limited on grenades. Uh, which is, you know, a, a small mercy, I'm sure. Select does nothing, start does nothing, just in general. Oh, okay, I had to hit grenade while sitting right next to it. Of course! And probably off to the side, too. Dead? Dead. <laughs> Delayed reaction. Game over. Uh, you're gonna try that again. And I'm going to expand this to 4x3, because I get the feeling this one actually will look better in 4x3. At least the tanks will. The tanks will be more squarish in 4x3. You don't get to uh, observe these changes, no. but the, the stream audience does. And I still hate the way it looks. I still hate the way these stretch pixels look. I know it's the way it's supposed to look on a TV or what have you. That it was meant to be a stretched image, but I love my square pixels. What can I say? <laughs> I have to make my own fun here. Well, you're not getting anything out of the game itself? Eh. I'm getting this. This is what I'm getting out of it. <laughs> A jaunty mission, walk. Mission J, mission J frog my way <laughs> up the uh, battle here. Hello, my soldier. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a bullet by wire. You know that if... Mission J Frog was a character like earlier on in the you know the life of cartoons that he would totally have a propaganda film. Of course. Stick it to Jerry. And now, I'm now getting Harry. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> oh, I can get out of the. <laughs> okay. The whole point of the Michigan, uh, Michigan J Frog impression is just to say, hello, my ragtime gal. That's what I live yeah. for, is any excuse to say, hello, my ragtime gal, in any context. Oh, wait, can you rewind me? I have an idea. Okay, I can do that for you. I, I can, uh... I... A little bit more. Yeah, oh. it, it's weird how so much next... they make you wait. So next time I get hit, I have an idea. Get out of the tank, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that delayed reaction makes me think maybe this is like a metal slug thing where you have a chance to leave. Hit the bricks! Okay. Yep, that's it. He's just sitting there smoking like you could like take yeah. a second hit or something, but... but it I have a feeling if it. I get in it, though, I'm just gonna die. 
Fuck. I would love to see the end of this level. You will. Ah, new tank. <laughs> tank yes. that is much smaller than me. It's like a clown this is car like, tank, yeah. <laughs> this is like one of those tanks that you use in Takeshi's castle in the last stage. <laughs> Super electric violence thing. Some gamer intuition from Charky. I play video games sometimes. I have an idea of how these work. I love and all the I play sound effects like Doughboy, by the way. <laughs> That's the sound the tank makes, right? <laughs> it's like a mouse tank. <laughs> You're gonna get the cheese at the end of this road. The cat Was army it? will be thwarted. Wasn't Mouse an actual name of a tank in World War II? Like a German tank? I, I... Don't ask me. I did a year of military history, but it's... But I couldn't tell you tank names. <laughs> I, I do, I do know some planes, though. You ever heard oh, yeah, of the B-17 Bomber? I found the strategy. Oh. Wait, no, no. Get in. I think you actually need to grenade that. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, that I don't have a chance to. There we go. And the entire <laughs> well, army surrendered. Yeah. The end. That was actually Hitler. Now, I don't think they Start say over. what war it is. I don't think they say what time period this takes place during. I think it's just meant to, you know, sort of encompass all wars. Uh, I feel like that. We just finished the game. And Ball Gang, who, who provided the Doughboy uh, tip before, says that there was a, something called the Panzer 8 Mouse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Because they were also developing something called the Rat, which was, like, fucking humongous. It was one of those, like, Nazi weapons that were completely impractical and, like, were a dumb idea to begin with. But people on YouTube would make videos about them later saying, this was the genius idea that the Nazis would come up with. Well, if that's shit how I started with the History could've... Channel and the Military Channel, yeah. which had shows yeah. like Nazi super weapons. Yeah. And, like, and there's, like, a book called Hitler and the Occult that goes over just all the weirdo mm -hmm. shit. Like, that's, like, Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah. You know, and its depiction of, like, you know, the cult and the Spear of Destiny and all that shit. Mm -hmm. It was, like, real shit. To the extent that, that Hitler believed it was that real. Someone had, the, someone had the idea of it, and they were like, wouldn't it be cool if we made, like, a fucking uh, Ace Combat super weapon in real life? And they're like, what's Ace Combat? It's 1943. <laughs> Look, they were really forward thinking. Uh, and, of course, Anne Ball with the uh, the fun fact. The Land Cruiser P-1000 Rat, R-A-T-T-E is the name of the tank you are thinking of. And yeah, this game is just the one stage, by the way. Yeah. Except now they only give me small tanks. I think that means we've seen this game. <laughs> well, you're going to play out your last life. All you right, got to try sure. to get a high score on this. It's an arcade game, after all. You just threw that. You just you wanted to be over. I did not. No, I did not. I did not throw that. I fucked up. <laughs> I'll admit I fucked up. I didn't oh. get the high score. You have to save oh, it for well. the judge. You tell it to the judge and jury. Uh, that was Frontline. That's an innovator in the arcade. Uh, on NES, it's just another top-down shooter. Not a particularly good one at that. All right, it's now always roll the third up block a... is always stopped. Yeah. Now roll up another uh, NES arcade game. <laughs> if we get three in a row, that, that would be something. Then we play Haunted Castle. <laughs> I wish. Well, I wish too, because that means it's on our Steam family share and I get to play, like, uh, the DS Castlevania games. Yeah, I'd buy that just to play the Haunted Castle remake and then never, like, I love Order of Ecclesia. I mean, I love all those Castlevania DS games. I love all the Castlevania games. But but somehow it'd wind up to where the only game I play is Haunted Castle. Fully aware of what I'm doing. Oh, drink up. I don't mind if I do before I got to roll these blocks. <laughs> Very good. All right, it's time for... Chance time! All right, I'm going to do a weird one. Okay, I, I feel like we've done every permutation of this, so I don't know what weird would be. Middle, left, right. Really shaking things up here, uh, as I like to do. All right, give me a genre. Shooter. <laughs> give me a... 
platform Sega Genesis shoot 'em up, or shooter okay. of any sort. Anything with guns. Need guns, lots of guns. And who's playing it? I it's am. you. All right, it's a very me-centric night. Hey, that's the way I like it. I need to take the spotlight off of myself. Uh, let's so look. You're gonna at... have to think of a bad shooter. Yeah, I, I, I can. I'm sure I have a few cataloged here. I'm sure I can scrounge one up. Well, that's bad, but it's not a shooter. Uh, this would fit the bill for for shooter as in shmup shooter. Okay, that's fine. Or I could really torture you. You could. I've never played that specific version. <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a first-person shooter on the Sega Genesis, everybody. Wait with bated breath, eager anticipation. Uh, this one is, in, this, this is a big one of sorts. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to sample it here, but uh, we will eventually have to play through this entire game. I'll probably have to play through this entire yep. game at some hey, point. Shout-outs shout to Brazil. This is Tech Toy. This is 1998. This is Duke Nukem 3D. And we are going to have to wait on the title screen for a little bit here. We are going to have to let the music uh, jam. Let them rock. I've played this several times in my life. If you want to learn more about Tech Toy, check out the uh, Tech Toy. Check out the video I wrote uh, about the uh, Zebo for Stop Skeletons from Fighting. Two stories that interweave with one another. This is officially licensed by 3D Realms. For what it's worth. Yeah, that's that hot fire. Yep. Yeah, Dave Mustaine's cover for the N64 yeah. version ain't shit. Fun what, fact. what instrument am I trying to think of that that is? Oh, let me let me do one thing real quick. Let me make sure this is the right. Okay, there we go. Fill out the frame. Uh, the fun thing about that song is that uh, if you go to the main menu, in fact, let's go to the main menu. But I think we want to do it while the song is playing. So give give me two <laughs> seconds to uh, just... figure out how to do this. That the longer this... it goes on for, the more mm -hmm. desynced it gets. The cool. song. <laughs> But I think the only way to do that is this this marimba grab bag. You know, what, let's let's restart. Okay. Do I have player one control, by the way? No, probably not. Okay. But I just want. No, how did I get the song to play in full earlier? I did it for the video. I, I did it for the the YouTube the bad game music hall of fame back in the day. I guess I don't remember how to do that. Anyway, go look up our YouTube channel and it's somewhere yeah, on there. It's uh, it's a. Uh, Fucking treat, boy, howdy. Oh, the you odds are you're are, odds are you're already on our YouTube channel, so. <laughs> okay. Help. Okay. Yeah, help. Help. <laughs> no. <laughs> you should try to access help. Okay. Oh. This is, yeah. Three button controller. Uh, with, with uh, fire move. options for six button here. Button D. Button D. <laughs> I don't recall that being on the... Start in A or X. Being run lock. Map mode, zoom map. Select weapon is start and C. Start and B or X and Y is pause. Oh my... This looks like a math problem. Oh, I love this. This jaw harp. So, okay. for those who don't know, this uh, conversion, I, I use the term very loosely. You know, I, sh oh, I probably should have. Yeah, rewind? yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. my fuck up. Wait, why can't I rewind in this? It's not letting me rewind, Sharky. Oh, this is going to be wretched. This game is especially fucking difficult, by the way. 
Uh, it is the second episode of Duke 3D. It is a loose reinterpretation of the second episode exclusively, the Spaceport episode of Duke Nukem 3D. That is what this game entails. Why can't I rewind? You know, I'm going to futz around with RetroArch settings here for a second. I don't know how okay. I could have <laughs> lost a hotkey. Button 13 and key R. If you ever hold down like L2 on your controller. No? I'm trying different buttons. Oh, I found change weapon. Well, I guess we're just going to play this the uh, way right. it was meant to be played. Uh, good luck. What difficulty do you select, by the way? Let's rock, I think. Okay, good. Whatever the middle is. Yeah, that's, that's fair. It's still going to be very hard. One of the big things is just ammo scarcity. They did not think to put a lot of ammo around. Oh, cool. I'll bear that in mind. I mean, I'm impressed. It's, it's I'm impressed technologically runs. impressive that this works. People thought it was built off the Zero Tolerance engine for the longest time, but I don't believe that's true. That enemy there will explode mm -hmm. when you shoot it. Okay. Good. You avoided so the trap that most people die to in this game. All right. Come oh shit! It's down there somewhere. You may oh, want to turn run on, by the way, because I don't know if you're running right now or walking. Remember the run? Yeah, there we go. Oh, this this feels bad. Run feels bad. Yeah, but it's necessary. All right, I'll, I'll run if I need to go forward. Okay. No secret. Huh? Ah. That's why you said run is necessary. Yes, yes. I was trying to prime you. I'm trying to help. <laughs> well, I can't help you there. I, I can't help well, you with that. <laughs> hey, yeah, okay, let's load, load your save. Game. Yeah, just load your save up real quick. All right. Uh, someone in chat asks. Let me. I gotta scroll up to see who asked it. Uh, Paul S asks. So how does this stack up against the Tiger Gamecom version? Well, the Tiger Gamecom version, I think, is a version of Episode One, and it is like a weird grid-based thing. It's interesting. Uh, I, I I think the Gamecom version of Duke 3D is novel. It's definitely not Duke 3D. It is just, you know. A weird first-person shooter, as close as they could approximate. You aim in three directions, so like left, middle, and right. It's it's uh it's interesting. It's not bad. It's it's not good. It has uh, voice lines in it more than this does, I think. So it's it's a curio. Yeah, you have to hit that to blow up that, but you also have to kill the guy behind you. Yeah, I was already super low on health and ammo. <laughs> This this has like no degree of like aim assist at all. There's no, no game saved. Should I should I just fucking do this? Should I just Do you wanna you wanna play it a little? Uh it's been a while, but I think I can do it. I think I can. This is the show where I just take over for most of the games. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that's fair though. I think that's Because at a certain point you're just like, let me play it. Okay, I just gotta remember the buttons and what they're mapped to on my controller. It's... Okay. I believe square should be use. And just keep an eye on chat for me, if you don't mind. Okay. Any Duke-related questions that might pop up. Oh, come on. Mighty Boot. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. And here he comes. Here comes the boy. <laughs> I'm trying to bait uh, them out here, but it, it's not going to work. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's I think it's ultimately what I need to do is just open door, back up. Yeah, there we there go. There you go. Now you only have eight shots left. That's fine. There is an explodey thing. Cool. Yeah, I did forget about the explodey thing. 
I, 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 I know I can beat this level. In a few more, <laughs> is this, too. Is this, is this the rest of the show? <laughs> no, 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 no. We promised a chance time. People did not pay to make it not chance time. So it's going to be a goddamn chance time. I think I just need to be a bit more conservative with my ammo and actually hit more. Let's bait this guy. You know, this is Alani Witch's Brew is really good. I don't expect really good out of Alani, but here we are. Come on, buddy. Gamble. Play the game. Oh, uh, you can walk through them. That's a problem. Okay. I want. I want to know the physics of. I, I want to know the see the third person animation of Duke constantly kicking while running forward. Uh, I'll, I'll spoil it for you on the build engine. There's just no animation for it. It's just a. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know that. I'm just saying, if you were to extrapolate what it would look like, I wouldn't see that animation. <laughs> Good. 13 bullets left. I think the exploded guy only shows up once you get down the hall. No, I see him. He was speaking his head oh, out okay. there. Once this opens up, I should have a shot at him. Fuck! <laughs> uh, video game being asks, is the AI even intelligent enough to be baited in this game? Yes, because, I mean, if they pursue you, if they pursue you in a straight line, that should be good enough. Like, I'll, I know this guy. I will I will bait. Watch, here. Mm -hmm. Not that it's worth it to bait him. And it's not worth it mighty boot that guy. Here he comes. Does that explosion get enemies too? I, I would hope so. I, I think it does. I think when you blew yourself up on the other side of the room here, like, you also killed the guy who's right in front of you. And we're down to Mighty Boot. Is there an Fuck. article on the site for this one? Not yet. <laughs> but they're tempting me. This, this if I had like rewind, something. if I had my fucking rewind here, I have fast forward. Hold on, I have an idea. Settings... Latency. No, where is it? Frame throttle? Rewind. Yeah, why was rewind turned off? Okay. And now we're gonna think and get through it. I don't know how that got toggled off. There must have been like some... Maybe I was playing like Sega CD and rewind doesn't work there, so I disable it or something stupid like that. I knew it was something like that. There's no such thing as a... Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, Jai! You finally made it, friend. Hello. Hello, viewers. Hello, Virtua no Kazama's around. viewers. Thank you, Slime Janer, for rede redeeming a uh, Be Kind yeah. Rewind. We're playing Duke Nukem for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> and having a great time doing it. But it should be an easier time now that I've enabled re rewinding here. Tech Toy's finest. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Can't you see? Oh, and a drink up. I gotta do this without pausing right. the game. I'm gonna backstep here. Uh... Magic Meow said I'm earlier, it's pretty wild doing. that this exists in regular see? Genesis hardware, even if maybe it shouldn't. I'm <sighs> fully aware of what I'm doing. Uh, Can you, you know, see? what they do is uh, you can put stuff inside a cartridge, like mapper ships mm -hmm. and stuff. That's how uh, advanced NES games did it. Yeah. I guess Ooh, what? Frames. <laughs> All right. I need to do a clean sprint to the other side. Yes. That or crush these people somehow. While you get shot at. This is so fucked. This is the first level. This is the medium difficulty. We're out of ammo and, and out of hope. Can't just do that. I can't just run past that. Run into the arms of your explosive lover. Okay. This is my last hope right here. I just got to get through yep. this. Yep, there you go. You got it. Are you down to the Mighty Boot? Is that all you have left? That's all I have left. But I know there's like stuff around here. I wish there was actual collision on the enemy so I didn't just walk through them. Oh, cool. Ammo for shotguns. <laughs> yeah, uh, say something nice, them. by the way. 
Yeah, you say something nice. You're playing. By the way, someone was asking why okay, they have vertical I mean, artifacting. It's because they're they're doubling pixel uh, the rows of pixels basically. It's it's an effect to get like more resolution out of it than it was supposed to have. Okay, so clearly you, this is you, and also dithering. Yes. You know what? I can say something nice, uh, which is what I said earlier. That it's imp it is impressive that this is running. On yeah, Genesis. It's, it's about the only like, nice even, thing. Even even with the fact that you know, like you said, like you know, you you put mapper chips and stuff into cars. Like this is still impressive. Um, uh, Pepper Lee in chat says the guy who programmed it has a video on it, if I recall correctly. That'd be interesting to watch, especially if we were to uh, play through the whole of this thing, which is potentially in our future. I just wish I had just a bullet to, to shoot that fucking thing that's hovering around. Oh, come on! And Bowl Gang says it's almost like the SNES port of Doom. I think that port works better, <laughs> per chance. Yeah, you know, it, it's definitely more impressive, that SNES port. But this is impressive given the uh, hardware. <coughs> no, I'm not I'm not talking about impressive. I just mean from a gameplay point of view, I think it works better. <laughs> what, the SNES Doom? I hope yeah. Yes, yes. I, I, this is impossible. Yeah, this that's is what I'm actually saying. SN unwinnable. SNES Doom is more possible. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, to correct me, Pepperly says no, not this game. The Toy Story 3D game like this. Oh, that's that's Game Hut. Yeah, that's yeah. that's Game Hut. That's the uh, the guy from Traveler's Tales. Yeah. I, okay. I I missed the previous message that Pepperly had said. Yeah, that's a different kettle of fish. That's a, a different game entirely. Okay. This is going to be the only Last strategy. I, I just oh, have no. to, because there's nothing to it but to use the, the but to use the foot on these early guys. If you waste the ammo on them, you don't have enough for the things that if you kick them, you would die. Meaning and the other thing you're not going to have enough of is health. <laughs> okay. Let me just do myself a favor here. Are there any secret walls that I'm oblivious to? Is there anything here like a rocket launcher that they just want to give me nice and early? No? Or well. the shotgun to use those shotgun shells with? Okay. Yeah, there is an explosive guy behind you. Oh, I know. Just fuck. Jesus Christ. Hey, you know... I would rather play the PC version, believe it or not. I, I, oh, I think really? I, would, I would rather play the, the original DOS and PC versions of Duke Nukem 3D. I don't even love Duke. I don't even have, like, you know, that big a spot in my heart for Duke, but uh, it, it is painful to see him done so dirty here. And, you know, like, technologically impressive, but this is just impossible. I was reloading because the, the pistol has the mandatory. <laughs> I, 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 re I really like hearing Duke's death scream go forward and then in reverse when you do that. Oh, uh... fucking finally! This is the worst. You know, I this this was supposed to be your game, but I, I wouldn't wish this on you. I wouldn't wish this on my worst <laughs> enemy. This is one of the most unwieldy, unplayable things, unfair things I think I've ever fucking played. And I've played a lot of unfair, bullshit first-person shooters, but this is... This is the first fucking level! This is level one! I have no bullets, I have no fucking health. You have to do like this, this like almost like stealth approach with the fucking Mighty Boot to like even get anywhere. Uh, so imagine playing this on the harder difficulty. No thanks! I almost picked easy, and I was like, yeah, nah, I'll pick medium. You should have picked easy. Obscene? Outrageous! I think we made it past the worst of it. I like to think anyway. I'm gonna convince myself. I can't even tell that door opened or not. What door? <laughs> this door. Oh, Here. that door, there it is. Oh, I see floaty boy. Not even a modicum of, like, auto-aim to help you out. What are those? If you don't know, kick it. 
Oh, yeah, it's the face huggers. They come oh, out of the okay. eggs. So you can break the eggs before they hatch. Access card. I don't know how Duke's running with his one foot up in the air constantly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I want to see an animation of. <laughs> Speaking of animations... <laughs> Why did I, I... What did I even expect? What was I even thinking? Okay, so I have to have one finger on the C button and another on the A button. Mm hmm Which for me means fingers on square in circle on my controller. Oh, ammo for the pistol. What what a treat. They they they're they're spoiling us in this game. I think they gave you maybe like nine bullets, maybe. <laughs> you, you found a place to hide. It's an elevator. I really thought that was the end of the level. No! Our pain has only just begun. Hey, large oh, health. <laughs> Novel concept, yeah. right? Humongous, large, gigantic health kit for 30 health. This game has me so fucking scared around every corner. I think there's like a little puzzle here or something. Or maybe it's just open all of them. That's my predilection. I can't interact with that or this one anymore. What did I do? Is it only one door at a time? Is that the gimmick? Or did I blow my chance to open these? Okay. This? Maybe it's like a very specific position you have to be in. There's more in this room than just these three. You know, as if oh, this game right. wasn't bullshit enough, just toss some fucking puzzles in there, too. Why not, right? <laughs> I mean, I thought there were more, but it was something else because of the resolution. <laughs> uh... That'll do it for Duke Nukem? <laughs> no, I need to beat no? this level. Okay, well, okay, we've gotten this far. Mashing the use button. Okay. That one works. Okay. That one's active now. This one I can't activate. You need to hit another one out here? Yeah, what if this makes it so I can hit this one? No. no. Did something else open? Something on the first floor open. <laughs> I'll kill the person who made this game if that's the if that's the level design we're going with here. Just just, just write an article up that like about oh. how you researched and then hunted down. Oh, we got through. Game. You did get through. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a nice oh, good, clear map. graphic, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, that, that'll help us out. I mean, there is a map button. Somewhere. There you go. And it really helps the frame rate, too. Wait, hold on. There's a Can thing you... on the ground. Oh, there's a face hugger. Can you do the thing, like, in Doom where you shrink the screen? Uh, I think there's, like, zoom to a certain extent. I don't remember how to do that, though. Oh, there we go. Go oh, zoom for the map. I meant like the actual. You see how they have that background? Oh, the borders. In, in the no, you cannot yeah. uh, fix the frame rate in that way. It was probably designed to like operate precisely at this scale. Okay. There we go. Definitely making progress. Ah! 
I thought using the key card would open the door, you see. But uh, that was that would be too straightforward. It means I had to fuck around with these switches some more. Johnny Baggett says, I've never played Duke Nukem 3D, but I feel like watching the stream is giving me the experience. Well, I'm, I'm glad I can help in that way. I'm glad that we can... Elvis Skull's Revisor said, extremely cruel to have the reload animation in this. Ah! What's worse is that there's an explodey guy in the distance. Well, sure, surely there'll be some ammo in this room. Oh, wait, I was joking. I think I saw ammo. <laughs> boots. Nope, boots. Boots! Ah, oh, good. You can reload your kick. Now, what's the physics of that? Uh, that was on your in face. The face. Yeah, you can just... <laughs> oh! <laughs> did I get telefragged or did I die before? I think you died as you were be... Huh. You know what? Now I don't know. I wonder if that's a vacuum in space, because there are space levels. There are levels in this where you're, like, you're floating between spaceships. Now, granted, all on, like, one plane, there's no verticality or slopes or, like, you know, sense of, right. like, gravity or inertia or jumping or anything like that in this. But they, they tried something. Yeah, of course. How do I use the item in my inventory? Do you remember from no, that? No, I don't. <laughs> I really do not remember. It's so many combinations of press start and hit this button or press start and hit this other button that's on the six button controller. By the way, no pause. Of course or not. Just pressing start, you would have to find the button combination that lets you start. Or lets you pause. Yeah, let, that's... Let me try start A, B, X, Y, everything. It's also start in combinations of buttons. That's what I was doing. I was doing combina- Oh, yeah. start in like A, B... <laughs> there we go. Now, how do I unpause? By letting go of those buttons and pressing start. Run mode on. Game paused. <laughs> at, at some point, Tech Toy maybe should have looked at what they had in front of them and been like, you know, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, you know, maybe the this ain't ready for it yet. Okay, I have an idea what I need to do here. It's not a good idea. Wait. Fuck! <laughs> I kicked the I kicked the thing through the wall. But I still need to kill this guy. Okay. Round the corner, buddy. God. <laughs> Imagine playing this yeah. without rewind. Imagine just playing this on a console. Imagine being a Brazilian gamer in the year of our Lord, 1998, and being like, finally, a chance to play Duke Nukem, the game that everyone's been raving about. I feel like we could ask the Brazilians in our audience what we it was like have a contingent. in 1998. Yeah, I think most of them are younger, unfortunately. Uh, Match Meow's okay. ass is still level one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Protective okay. boots. It's a lava floor. Oh. That's why we needed the boots to automatically activate. Ugh, Jesus. <laughs> this well, is I guess, hell we're I, in. I guess we figured out how many shades of red that the Genesis can render. <sighs> Mind-boggling colors. All this shotgun ammo, and you haven't given me a shotgun! I'm sure there's like a secret that I missed. Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> was that it? Did we come here just for, for fucking shotgun shells? Is that all they thought to do with this hellish red zone? This. Uh, Where else would you even go? That seemed like the way forward. No, there's another one of... Oh, okay. 
I was, I was I had so many fun facts lined up about this game. There's a space uh, suit item in this game. There's an astronaut suit you can wear, which was actually cut content from the original uh, jet, uh, build engine, the original PC version of the game, and they put it here for the spacewalk segments I was mentioning earlier. So you know that's a neat idea. Just give me ammo. I'm not even asking for health. I've given up on that. I've given up on, like, all prospects of, like... Got an access card. Wait, hold on. What happens if I do kick it? Well, duh, of course. What were they ex expecting there? All right, open door. Open sesame. Open! <laughs> oh, God. Great. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, Battle Tinko 9 has a question in chat. Would you mind to answer that while I continue to bang my head against this? Uh, running back to the microphone, sure. Uh, how did the alien pull in? They voted for uh, the uh, Colonial Marines. Answer them. Oh, uh, Blue Stinger, right? Yeah, Blue Stinger won the vote, yes. I... Cannot I honestly believe this did one. not know the answer, <laughs> so that's what I was asking you. Who is this game for? Who is this uh, version of the game for? Brazilians. Shut I'm up. I'm sorry for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally can't take any more of this. I we can't even make it past the first level of Duke 3D on the Genesis. Obscene. Unplayable. <laughs> I look forward to us playing it again. <laughs> That's right, Duke. I, I cannot believe. I've gotten past this first level before. I don't remember it being this bad. This is a present you play on easy? to you. I must have. Thank you. Slime generator for, for the bit and saying I suck at this game. Thank you. Yes, it's a skill issue, There's clearly. There's no such thing as a second chance. Stop, stop using, using Rewind. Re well, we're well, done. Don't worry, we're so. done with the fucking game. So that's uh, that's a uh, stop using Rewind as we're going to get here on the Bad Game Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was supposed to be your game. Remember that? Remember when that was? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then you were like, no, I want to play this. I. You. Who's it? Oh, it's my go. It's who's it's your. OK, good. Yeah, OK. Just well, I want to get this out of the way that it's going to be me playing it. So go ahead and tell me who's playing. Fuck. Oh, it's you playing. Well, what console is it going to be? PC, PC engine. engine. OK, really hoping for SNES. All right. Well, what's the genre? Arcade. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. I know one. Can't you see? All right. I have one lined up for this. Uh, let me right, just... You know what, Battle Tank? I'll do you a favor. Uh, where are you? All right. That should have refunded your points back to you for that one. Arcade, arcade, arcade. Yeah. Is this the one? No, this is the one. This is not arcade in the strict... It, it, it's a score game. Sure. And that's good enough is... I had this just to give us, like, wiggle room. I'm going to justify a lot of things as being quote-unquote <laughs> yeah. arcade games. It's, this is a catch-all for anything else that isn't falling under conventional genre stuff. Uh, or I could do this, which this is an actual arcade game, right? Converted we... to the system? A, I'm not sure. B, did we do this one? No, we absolutely have not. Uh, Let's see. Though the first one was an arcade game, for sure. Uh, yeah, it was an arcade game. That's an arcade game. Okay, that's, a, that's a justification. And we'll save the other one for another day, for another genre, potentially. This is 1990. This is Taito. This is Rastan Saga Du. Let's go ahead and get this loaded up.
press that run button. Okay. All right. Now we see the return of Taito tonight. Oh, that's a font. <laughs> that's a choice. It's a, it's a font made out of Pac-Man. Very low volume. Uh, this this uh, conversion of an arcade standard did not go over well. I don't think the Genesis version did either, if I remember correctly. I think the aspect ratio is also a little screwy here. No, that's it. All right. Now, I, I don't really know much about... Uh, bigger sword. No shield, though. Not that I think uh, it matters. Uh, Actually, yeah, I am getting armor, uh, armored, altered beast vibes here. <laughs> snick, snick, bud. Value. Gotta team up with my best pal, Deadpool. So the, the gimmick here uh, being obviously that you can get different weapons and upgrade them. Oh, speaking of electric sword. I, if I was, okay, if I was in charge of making this game, sure. I and I understand that what I'm about to suggest is not possible with like the limits of the era, but I would have it so that a human, a normal human player would never like run out of different upgrades to get right. Like, like how many up weapons could they possibly fit in this game? I still haven't. I'm still getting new ones. Like now he has a machine gun. Now he has a rolling pin. Snick stick blow up, bud. Can I attack down so that, below by doing this? No. Actually, this begs the question for me is. Is it a linear series of like upgrades that you're getting? Or are you eventually going to cycle around through them? Or are you going to have like an ultimate weapon that you get eventually? I think you, you know? can power up the weapons like like in a shmup, you know, would be my guess. I can't climb up there because my jump only goes that high. Unless there's a double jump I'm not privy to. But also, what does it matter? Oh! I guess that was the end of the stage! Alright, so obviously the, you can't blow up the moon. Why, did I, why would I think? <laughs> the one unique block would have been the one that you blow up. Oh, we're, getting, we're losing some frames here. Maybe part of re the reason why people don't love this game. Sir load-bearing blocks. You're destroying the RAM as you blow them up. It's like uh, Super Mario Land 2. <laughs> you found the blocks that somehow control what how the game works. Is there any purpose to these blocks other than to be a nuisance? I... Oh, that right. This, this big giant green block is not a, a block in our way. It is a background element. You know that thing I'm talking about with Super Mario Land 2? With, um, like, the load-bearing blocks. Oh, yeah, like, there's, like, gravity to a certain extent. I have opened a fire. Now I'm determined to hold my ground at any cost. No, not gravity. I mean, okay, so... Yeah, I don't uh, know what you're talking about, then. Okay, in... in I'm going to try and explain this as the best I can. In the speed run for Super Mario Land 2... Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> all right. So, you can, <laughs> There's a place in the game where you can drop underneath the world, like, you can fall out of like from the bottom of the level and you fall into like this whole mess of like sprites and blocks that all interact like they do in the normal game. They're just like, you know, the structural oh, blocks. Oh, what the or... fuck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, wait, all the blocks are like normal blocks. Like, you know, you can break the bricks, you can collect the mushroom stuff, but all of those represent the actual like ROM data. For the okay. game. So by destroying blocks or picking up certain mushrooms or jumping in certain locations in this garbled mess underneath the level, you are actually changing the programming of the game. And you can interact with certain things to just make the game jump to the credits. And I... Like wrong can't... warping and like uh, code manipulation or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like arbitrary code execution kind of stuff. But it just exists as in-game assets under the map and like that is so weird to me <laughs> so thing i've learned is that this sword here 
holding the sword this way will protect me against the uh, the ceiling things that fall randomly. Will not protect me against that guy who takes uh, two hits to kill, but... And now, of course, I'm uh, screwed. Because I don't have that sword that was uh, my saving grace. Oh, I, I, uh, Pepperly uh, corrects me. Uh, I said oh, rock. sorry! Oh, that was, that was just an endless pit. That was just an abyss. Yeah. Oh, obviously. Anyway, I, I said ROM, I meant RAM. Alright, this game's starting to tick me off. Shield is handy, I guess. These invincible enemies are annoying. Oh, I'm just fucked now. No, this is literally nothing I can do. Cool. <laughs> nothing I can do but turn into a skeleton. That's your answer for everything, Rastin. <laughs> Oh, I want that, because I assume there's going to be falling ceiling tiles uh, all over the game now, so I'd rather have a uh, defense against that. Well, yeah, that's just bad timing on my part. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's my Tarzan noise. It's your tar Tarzan noise that Discord hates. This is so tedious. Eventually, they were on the fuel. No, nope, that was definitely a pit. <laughs> Continue? Yeah, sure. I hate myself. Let's do it. Continue from where? Oh, that. well, that's semi-generous. Oh, I thought... Well, I guess I have the shield. I guess that will block yeah. the flames. <laughs> It's like, let me just get, let these flames get a better look at my face. I was going to ask if I could do the duck walk, but I guess we just walk through those elements. These these tiles, the issues with determining foreground from background. Oh. I thought the fight was over <laughs> already. No, I don't think you're going to win this one just by, like, trading blows back and forth like that. I think I will. Well, I mean, you didn't because you died. And you died again. Burner you may wise. eventually win. I'm just saying that you're not going to... Okay, whatever. Well, they keep walking into me. Wait, hold on. We can scroll to the right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, it literally would have been better off just, like, charging it like that, just, like, continuing to do that shit. When I'd freak bot says, Sword of Sodan, no. Uh, you wicked people, how did you like my assault? Oh, here come tough enemies. They've all been a cakewalk up to now. If you want to see what Sword of Sodan looks like, uh, check out badgamehalloffame.com slash sword dash of dash sodan and, uh, the definitive article on the internet about Sword of Sodan. I am the world's leading expert on Sword of Sodan. That is a statement of fact. I couldn't tell you any of those facts right now because I forget my articles as soon as I finish writing them. But at a point, for like a, a beautiful month or two that I spent writing that article, uh, I was the world's leading expert. And that article is the proof. Did you know that Julian Le Fay, who's called the godfather of the Elder Scrolls series at Bethesda, originally was a composer? A music composer, a chiptune composer for Sword of Sodan. That's just one of the many fun facts you'll learn reading our Sword of Sodan article. Now, Rostin Saga 2, I am not an expert on. But I, I am enough of an expert uh, at bad games to say that this is uh, one of those. Did you say Le Fay or Le Fay? Le Fay. Okay, so no relation to Satan. Well, who's to say? One could argue that Sword of Sudan could have only been created by, like, people who are trying to invoke the end of the world and, you know, hell on Earth, but... Especially the Genesis version. Whatever. Just 
charged through yeah, it. I'm at this point, I'm just like... I'm, st I'm still upset at Anton LaVey for giving Satan a bad name. Single-handedly responsible. Mm -hmm. Undid years of work. The good intention Satanists were just trying to continue. I don't really want to, but... Oh my... There is something... Yeah, you can completely wonky with the jumping physics here. Specifically with this platform, when you jump on the I'm platform, it doing. doubles your Can jump you input. See? You see that? If yes. you're holding the jump button, it just propels you in the air like it's a trampoline. But I think these are supposed to be, yeah, like platforms that you stand on. Oh. And die. And die. <laughs> yeah, so I have to make sure I'm not holding the jump button. And you also have a really hard time slowing your momentum in midair. You can't change direction mid-jump. Which, you know, that's fair. That's a decision that some games made. Mm -hmm. The wrong decision. Arcade games of this, arcade games of this era, specifically. This, I mean, especially, rather. So, are you going to spawn up ahead? Yes. Yes. <laughs> sure, Minotaur. I'm assuming I have to go for headshots on this fucker. Yes, go for the armored part. Well, that's the only part that hits! I mean, you're you're right. It is the only part that hits, but it is also the armored part. <laughs> I guess his legs are armored, too. Maybe if I had, like, a weapon with actual range on it. Game over. The round continues. The game is over now. That was Rostin Saga too, and you know, to look at it like on the surface, to, to not know what this game is, and and to hear people complain about this game, I couldn't imagine it being worse than Sword of Sodan. And it wasn't. It, it it was better than Sword of Sodan, but that was still pretty fucking rough. That was a uh, tough one, Sharky. Oh, let's see if you have to play the next one or not. Yeah, ready to roll it's, another one. Ready it's, to. Yeah, uh... it's in it's in your hands. <laughs> All right, time for another round of... Chance time! Okay. Uh, how about left, right, middle? Just for, you know, I can like to keep changing right. the pace up on these things. Give me a console. Sega Genesis. Give me a player. It's you. Okay. And what genre will you get stuck with? Go. Driving game. Okay. A Sega Genesis driving game we have to find now. We have to dredge up. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sure I have a few. Uh, it's too bad that the only one that exists is OutRun. Oh, well. It looks like I'm going to have to play OutRun. I have some bad news for you. Oh, well, I found one already. Let me see if there's another. There's, yeah, there's another. Uh, people saying hard driving. We did the Game Boy version of hard driving already, so, you know. Is it, isn't it race driving on the Genesis? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're just gonna do this one. Yeah, uh, I, right. I wonder if these are both the same game. Yeah, these are both the same game. Uh, but this one's a localization for... Uh... Well, you know, I should probably show the game. This is a 1992 game developed by iSystem Tokyo. Uh, published by Flying Edge in North America, and in Japan, it looks like. Uh, this is Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge, or as it's known in Japan, Nakajima Satoru Kanshu F1 Hero MD. We'll just play the, the English version of this one, though. Unless you've been brushing up on your, uh, on, on your no, hiragana and stuff. Really, okay, no. well, there you go. Make sure you're in control. Oh, yeah, you're in control. Perfect. Okay. Flying Edge. Flying Edge, that's a claim, isn't it? Uh, or am I wrong? That sounds correct, but it could also be wrong. Because I don't know why they'd be publishing the Japanese version of it as well. No, Division of a Claim, you were right. Wait, hold on. Before you select, let me do one more yep. thing. The Genesis emulation boots in a funky resolution. This is me okay. correcting that resolution. Accelerate, brake, 
speed up and speed down. Yeah, right, like we like go fast. <laughs> yep, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, what I freak bot says, Flying Edge was a claim. I think Arena Entertainment was LJN. Well, LJN was just a subsidiary of a claim. You got to remember, Arena was Arena and Flying Edge were Sega divisions of a claim where they were using LJN for their licensed Nintendo products. That was the division. We have a series called the LJN yeah. Connection, as a matter of fact, where we are playing through every single game, quote unquote, published by LJN. You can check that out on the YouTube channel. Yeah, and tune in this Saturday. Oh, yeah, that's it. right, huh? Can't get away from it. We're nearing the we're conclusion be, of it, though. It's going to be Lester, Catan, Winona, or Fosters. Well, first of all, let me boost the volume on this. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to pick... John Skew asked Fosters. LJN was a subsidiary of Acclaim. Well, it didn't start as one. It started as a, a branch of the toy company, LJN. They were making figures and stuff, and then Acclaim gobbled them up when LJN was uh, facing financial ruin right. on account of uh, guns they were marketing, toy guns that were being used in real life, stick em ups okay. and, and that cops were shooting at kids who had the guns. So a claim right. swooped so, in and said, well, this is ours now. All right, the weather today is sunny, dry, and high. Good day for a race. Uh, tires, suspension, wings, brakes, engines, and transmission. I, I would like all of them. Well, it's not rainy. John Skew asks, is there an article uh, oh, on LJN's it... history? I think right. I cover in one of the older articles, but you're better off just watching the LJN connection. It, it would probably, if anything was in the article, it'd probably, would it, it would be have shown on, up uh, on the show. Spirit of, uh, Spirit of Speed? Yeah, the Spirit article? of Speed 1937, that'd probably be the one where I get into like a fair bit of the history. That or uh, Friday the 13th, maybe? You know what? But I ultimately, this is fine. just, you know, <laughs> watch the LJN connection. We're quite proud of it. Okay, good use of screen real estate. Now, F1 is one of those things where you just go forward, right? There's no turning. Uh-oh. I have bad news for you. Uh, S up, S down. I'm not sure if it does anything, because I've been trying. Are you yeah, I think it's just shifting automatically. Did you choose an automatic transmission? Um, oh, you know what? I didn't even go into the transmission menu. I bet it's just defaulted to automatic. Yeah, there you go. Which is considerate, because I feel like that's... The way I prefer I, to play. I, I, I don't I like hate, thinking about yeah. the gears, yeah. Yeah, I hate... I learned how to drive stick shift. I never want to do that again. Thank you very much. I, like, my father, when I was much younger, was the type of who's like, if you're going to learn how to dri drive a car, you're going to learn how to drive a stick shift. And then eventually uh, gave up on that when I made a decision that if I have to drive a stick shift, I'm not going to drive a car. That's a good decision to make. It's the one I should have made, <laughs> ultimately. To not drive, that is. Uh, uh, oh, no, I eventually got a license. I, I just drive an automatic. And of course, I drive every day, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. I'm fine with driving. I used to hate driving. Now I'm okay with it. After two rollovers, my only two accidents, and they're both rollovers, both completely upending a vehicle and having to crawl out of it. Uh, after two of those, I was waiting I, on the I, third one. They were 13 years apart, so I got another few years left to me. I got another decade plus before I flip over another car. I prefer not to drive, all things considered. You know, our, our city has a bridge that is like known to give people phobias of bridges. <laughs> Very good. Like, it is an established thing that this bridge will give you a phobia. <laughs> because it is... I mean, they've changed it now. They've uh, Apparently, at some point, they widened it. But it was so fucking narrow that, like, it gave people mental problems. I believe it. Bridges are scary. Yeah. <laughs> I was scary enough... I, would, I drove a mountain pass... I did not flip my car over on the mountain pass, thank God, because if I fell down the side of a mountain into the water below, that probably would have been really bad. Probably would not have walked away from that one. Uh, but uh, I, I was definitely thinking about it the entire time. I was definitely thinking the entire time, like, oh, this would be bad to have an accident here. This would be instant death, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> oh, that, that that is 
Like we I, have I to find get the answer by ourselves. Constant nightmares of driving off of a bridge by accident, like something happening. It's like, well, this is it. <laughs> by the way, I think someone did ask uh, what the name of this game was. This is. Uh... <laughs> Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge for the Sega Genesis. Pro Struggle 92, who asked that? We've had some comments to the effect of uh, Mateus Ori saying this is widescreen gaming in the 90s. And yeah. all gangs, this almost looks like a DS game. Did uh, I qualify? People uh, are saying that the. Did you qualify? Last place? Uh, last place. By a lot. By a lot. <laughs> Jeffrey Phobia, or Jeffrey Phobia? Jeffreyophobia is the condition of being afraid of bridges. Uh, I am headful, so I've got to say I've seen worse games in this stock, in this style. Sure, but this, yeah, is, this is the worst rated driving game for the Genesis, at the very least. Really? Well, I, that tells me there wasn't a lot of uh, driving games for the Genesis. And then we're getting to the say something nice. Now we're getting to it, Magic Man. There's a lot of stuff to get through. I have a lot of people to respond to. Yeah. We have an active chat tonight. Uh, say something nice, Sharky. Oh, the graphics are all right. Uh. Disagree there. Uh, really, I th I think he's doing a fine job with. Like, I think this the is a bad implementation of the the scrolling screen effect. I think the NES gave you more screen real estate to work with than this. It I think did, cutting but it was working with the screen it, literally in half. Is... It was entirely different hardware. <laughs> yeah, okay, worse the hardware. Bo the, the bottom of the uh, screen looks nice. The no, half. it does. It, this is too entirely too little space. It is realistically what is the actual play field on this game? Uh, How much percentage half. of the screen? No. Like, I mean, the bottom half of the bottom half. No, not the bottom half. The bottom third of the bottom I said, half. I, I said the bottom half of the bottom half. No, the bottom third. I'm telling the, you that this is not dude. half of the screen. This is a third no, of the screen. Listen so to the word. Listen, the listen, to, listen to the sequence of words coming out of my mouth. The bottom half of the bottom half. <laughs> no, and I'm telling you, you are incorrect. This is the bottom third of the bottom half. Is this not half of the bottom half here that you're looking at? This is if, if this is 180 pixels tall, this bottom half, this is 60 pixels of that. The, you, you see those oil signs popping up? That's a sprite effect. That's not the road. That's still part of the gameplay. Uh, OK, well, in that case, like. You're making me, you're making me lose. You're making me lose. Yes, yes clearly my fault. Because <laughs> now I'm invested in, in trying to argue with you. <laughs> but this is an obscenely low amount of screen real estate to be using for this. If it was half the screen, if it was just properly half of the screen, that would be yes, fine. This is that would be like what the NES games and with all these like, you know, these games of this nature that did this effect where we're like basically utilizing having the top half of the screen be whatever heads up display elements and like skybox. But like ultimately, it, because it is a third of the bottom half of the screen, because it is effectively one sixth of the screen, it's it's super wide to an extent that it doesn't need to be. You don't really get m much indication for when turns are coming up. You have like no view distance. It's just Listen, bad. They, they were ahead. They were ahead of the curve in the ultra wide monitor gaming space, right? They had to work with what they had. Sure. And they gave us ultra wide gaming back in like 92 or whenever this came out. 92. I could tell this had 92 look to it, you know? Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting 92 vibes. <laughs> Picking up some serious 1992 vibes from this one. <laughs> person who's only played games from 1992. I think I may have scared someone vibes. off with, with our with our little arguing there. It's all in good fun. Mm -hmm. We're all just... They're, 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 mommy and Daddy aren't fighting. It's just, you know, okay. just a heated, spirited debate. <laughs> it's... <laughs> now, imagine if this was split-screen. Imagine if there was, like, a second player on the top of it. I don't think there is. No. Okay, so do you think I still have a chance? <laughs> Take a look at the map and tell me... How much of a chance I have? Like, what Whoops. are you doing wrong material here? Like, what is the thing that is making this so challenging? I guess, like, you just didn't kit your vehicle out. Maybe I, you, like, really I, needed to do go through all those menus. You're getting lapped. I, I, re I see that. I realize that. Yes. But. I, okay, I'm going to say, one, I'm just not driving well because I'm not taking corners while I'm hitting some stuff. B, also, yeah, I did not touch any of the, uh, any of the uh, options for the car. I just, like, let it be. 
and maybe that was the wrong choice. Louis PSC is trying to give us like resolution. It's not. It, we're scaling it up. It's 720p on the stream. This the. There's 240p console, so you know the numbers you're giving. And again, this, it, we're not trying to say that it's half and half. I'm saying that the bottom half. So okay, there's a line you draw in the center of the screen, right? That indicates the halfway mark. So there's a top yes. half and a bottom half. And if they're a pixel or two off, it doesn't matter. Now, in this, within the bottom half of the screen, what portion of this is actually relevant data that tells you where turns are coming? That tells you. Oh, it's all relevant data. <laughs> You, you look at the upper. Look at the upper left. That's my speedometer. You know. Look you at, know what would have been better? Make this the top half of the screen. Put the stats at the bottom. Make the thing here. The the the, 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 the bottom third of the bottom half should have been the bottom third of the top half of the screen, so that your eyes gravitate towards center screen as opposed to just having to look at the very bottom and squint your eyes to look at the bottom of your TV sets. That's my I, issue with this. Maybe it's the way my TV is positioned that I'm not having an issue with this because it's this is like well, I mean, nearly if, eye level to if me. You, if you sat backwards in your chair like I'm doing right now and just observe the screen as a whole, if this was on a CRT oh. television and you're all looking right, at me, it. Let, let me let me sit back where, where I am right now, all right? Okay, bad news. I can't see anything because I don't have a chair. I'm on a bed, so I'm looking at the ceiling. Yeah, you're right. This is hard to see. Yeah, well, there you go. Proven right again. <laughs> All right, I think I think uh, yeah, I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to mercy kill this race? It is an F one game, so there's, like, there might be like yeah. fifty. Oh, press A, B, and C I to retire. Oh, well, I, I had a good career. <laughs> Time to retire. Race over. Mateus Ari says I measured it's less than one seventh of the screen. That was close. Hey, I still placed apparently. <laughs> Fosters. It's Australian for racing. I think that'll do it for F1. Well, we gotta see the two-player mode. We gotta see if it, it if in fact does the... There is not a two-player mode in this game. Was there not? Oh, that was Brazil, by the way. We were racing in Brazil. Did you know that? No, this, this is Brazil. Oh, it, it's still continuing. No, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no two-player mode. I think he tried to will that into existence. Oh, Lee, ye of little faith. I'm headful says it's going to split the screen vertically. I'll take Ferrari because he's the name of the, the car. All right. Okay. I'll take Johnson. Well, there's a decent amount of courses in this game. I mean... Let's just do, how about just three laps? How about a reasonable amount of laps? Indianapolis, Japanese GP? Your choice. You have to select them to see them. You can't just, like, mouse... Not mouse over them. You can't just, like, have them selected and have it. You have to, like, press the button. Yeah. That's, that's the Indy. Mid-Ohio. Oyster Bay. Canadian... Let's do Canadian. I always like it rainy. Wet and low. And that's the way I like it. All right, time to tune. Yeah, I know what these numbers mean for sure. Oh, the wing. You gotta have a good wing. Wait, hold on. I can actually intuit what they want me to do here. I need grip endure, I would think. Well, it's a trade-off. <laughs> I'm going to go low durability. I'm racing for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> brakes? Ah, uh, give me some normal brakes. Good one, please. I'd like the good engine. And now let's take the auto. Okay. Oh, right. they're taking apart my car. I hope they put it back together again. Oh, they did. That's nice of them. Now, is this better or worse than Moto Rotor 2? I would say better. 
Well, I knew how to play Motor Rotor too, so that was an advantage. I was doing okay at that when I was playing that myself. I'm trying to think logically. Let's go up normal. Straight down the middle. Probably, if it's wet, maybe hard breaks. Uh... Magic Mail says, I wonder if the rain affects the handling or if that's too much to expect for this game. I'm concerned they have rain tires. I'm going to assume. I'm hoping that'll make things extra slippery. Yeah, seven gear. Why not? Hey, it's automatic. We're not worrying about the fucking stick shift, so. All right, may the better car win. I wonder what this does to the frame rate. How go? A button? Uh, this is slippery as shit. I, I know hey, you're I'm not, not going. Yeah. I... Oh, Jesus. This is uncontrollable. I know oh, it's especially uncontrollable for you, but... Yeah, this is literally uncontrollable. Uh, also, I'm not pressing buttons and things are happening. I think we're double bound Oh, for fuck's sake, I thought I... How did you get through the menus then? You're not double bound. Correct. Uh -huh. Correct. You know what? I'll take over for I'm your car. Fully aware of what I'm doing. Can't you see? You know, let's also switch these to three buttons. Let's try that first. Let's see if maybe this game does not have six button support, and if that is. No, you're nope. top. I'm bottom. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Play so player two is top. How oh my I... god, of course it is, because in the main game, the bottom screen is the first... Oh, god! So wait. How was I doing this when I wasn't even looking at the correct part of the screen? I can't fucking believe that. This years of this, like, basic gaming principle. Who gets the top portion of the screen? Who gets the bottom? Player one gets the top, player two gets the bottom. Nope! Flip it around! We gotta be different. It is still very slippery, though. I'll guarantee you that the roads are still very slippery. Okay, you can pass on the left if you want to. Nah, you're... You're faster than me, apparently. <laughs> oh, well, that'll slow me down. If this was pole position, I'd be blown up. I'd be, they'd be burying me in a fucking coffee can at this point. Uh, Mateus already says this is the revenge of the younger sibling. <laughs> it's finally a way for, for the younger sibling to get one over on their older one. To get like a, a 30 second head start while the other player figures out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I'm still going to lose this by a lot. Like, I don't know, maybe I just picked bad. I guess so. Maybe I'm just a master racer. Uh. What happens if you bump into me? I'm gonna let go of the gas. Okay, let go of the gas so I can bump into you. Okay. Psych. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did it punish you? Did it just like send you off road? Is that what happened? No, I was I was gonna try to move to the side to pass you. I was like, thanks, sucker. But nope, that couldn't even do that correctly. Lap two or three. Oh, jeezy Louisey. Nope, it's neck and neck again. I can't believe I used my one walk off of the stream of the year for the crow instead of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the one you're entitled to. I was contractually, yeah. you wrote it in. I mean, I negotiated you down to one. This isn't walk-off bad. This is boring. <laughs> People are watching it. Somehow. Thank you. If you want to encourage this behavior, feel free to subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Yeah, financially support the show. Tell us what you want us to play. You want a long play of this? <laughs> you want Ow. us to go through all 20 courses in, in the series? If you want Cash to go through all 20 courses? <laughs> well, you're going to have to be there. Because clear, be clearly they're better at this than I am. <laughs> race over. It's, it's 
It's basically straight away here. No, I'm going the distance. I'm going for speed. I'm alone. Alone, alone. In my time of need. Oh, the best time is supposed to be a minute on that. Oh, oh, I see. Per lap times, right. Yeah, Emerald Sun Disc says, okay, question. Do you have to play explicitly bad games? Well, the name of the channel is Bad Game Hall of Fame. <laughs> and this is Bad Game yeah, Chance Time, our segment where we yeah, play randomly so assigned bad games. Un so unfortunately, we've kind of uh, branded ourselves into a corner here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for us. Fortunately for the viewer, I suppose. We'll have to Me assume Mega likes this stuff. Mega Driver says, I can earn another walk-off by filling in the Kuso gauge. Build that meter. It's always that third button. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, whose turn is it? How many games have we played tonight? How many games have Two, we played three, tonight? Four. I think it's my turn. It's, it's, it is my turn. All right. Okay. In, in that case, it is time for you to play. Chance time! All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to go center, then right, then left. Okay. So give me a genre. Puzzle. Puzzle game. Who is playing it? Me. You are. And what's the console? PC, PC engine. engine. PC Engine puzzle game. I got one. All right. I know. I like it when you got one, so I don't have to like plumb the depths of my memory. Your your expertise on the uh, NEC PC Engine, mm -hmm. the catalog you have for all these games is impressive. Which to is to sure. say, which is to say, Google. All right. This is a 1990 game developed by Data East, published by NEC. I believe there's a a Japanese version of this and an English version of this, a North American version of this. I'm going to play the North American version. This is Drop Off. I think it might be... Is it... Is Rock on the Japanese? No, that's a different game. It's a shmup game. But I know there's a Japanese version of this. Not that it matters. All right. Let's get this loaded. Hmm. One night, Bless Izumi you. was possessed by somebody. No one specific to somebody. Day after day, she slept on without opening her eyes. Be weird if she did it well opening her eyes. <laughs> Izumi, what's wrong? I've been possessed by something. One night, a muse appeared in Takashi's dream. You should make a song about this. The girl is lost in a nightmare. She's been possessed by somebody. If she keeps on sleeping, she will be dominated by him and will never wake up. The comas are that simple to cure. Only you can save her. My power will put you in her dream. Isn't that the name of a Chuck Tingle novel dominated by my sleep paralysis demon? Then cast a spell on you. Did I agree to this? Did I... Consent, or is this kind of like being wasted on me? Silence is, silence is implicit consent. Go. <laughs> Drop off from NEC. It's a sweet fruit from which her dream, just such a dream as a girl would have, begun. You got all that? Apple. So, Arkanoid. Ugh. But, also a shmup of sorts. Because it's constantly scrolling, and you have to weave in and out of these <laughs> columns of, of, of fruits and so forth. All right, those are. I need to make sure those were power ups, or if they okay. were. Why? Why is your like baby bell just shedding? <laughs> what happened? Getting naked. Yeah, what's going on with that? <laughs> I wonder if this changes the trajectory of the thing somehow. Yeah, this makes it go up. This makes it go to the sides. Oh, it's, okay. a, it's a toggle. Let's say I wanted to try and get this down the hole. Oh, the apple's about to hit. Okay, I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, well, this does look like a nightmare. <laughs> now, luckily, you don't get penalized if they, you know, things touch the bottom of the screen. And it also has the bubble bobble thing where if you, like, you know, destroy 
like let's say the apple in the center of the screen there, then the rest of the column falls underneath it. So you yeah. can like do like big, big moves like that. This feels like this feels like a dream I would have as I'm like falling asleep, like that moment before you fall asleep where you're still kind of. You start dreaming. This feels like a dream like I had once when I was possessed by a demon yeah. and, and stuck in a permanent state of sleep. <laughs> no, like th those like uh, weird like trains of thoughts you get like right before you go to sleep, like as you're drifting off and losing consciousness and you just start seeing like apples falling all around you, right? Fuck that. Can I weave between this? Nope. Okay, there we go. I think this is actually ideal, right? No, no, wait. Yes, yes. Yeah, there we go. You never had those thoughts, like, right before you are going to go to sleep? Like, just thinking of stuff like, like, Tetris bricks falling or stuff like that, or... Nope. Just any sort of, like, pattern-based stuff? Can't say that I have. Huh. You should try it sometime. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Can I touch the vine? I can touch the vine. Number of hits. 64 times 10 for 640. Yeah, that's... Math checks out. Watermelon stage! Is... Is this part of her possession? All the fruits? It's just like Suica game. I picked that up again. Recently. And I gotta say... Uh... The mobile version of it... The, the mobile app version, rather. Not a good version of it. It runs on, like, different rules than the one on Switch. I... I I like the mobile version well enough. I played a lot of that. Oh! Okay, so the bottom can be broken. The bottom section, and your ball can yes. fall out of the stage. Yes. Somehow that did not occur to me until just now. Yeah, the bottom portion has horizontal. health, too. So. Yeah. I guess I gotta keep it from hitting the bottom then, don't I? It's just like altogether way too many things. Yeah, it's, it's trying to be three different games at the same time, and it's not I, doing a particularly great job at uh, being any of them. I, I don't even say. necessarily mean that. I mean literally too many things on the screen for you to try and keep up with here. Fuck. Ooh, uh, mermaids. Did freeze? No, okay. they became mermaids. <laughs> oh. Obviously. Just saw, I just saw everything stop for a second. Fuck, no, I'm cheating. Time Headful says, plot twist, she has a major sweet tooth and this is her punishment. They're starting with like the two sweetest fruits though, apples and watermelon. It's not a punishment, it's a reward. It's also one of those games where if you get like the ideal position, you can just like play it by not playing it. Oh, this is a no-win situation. Look at this. So yeah. what's fascinating here is that, like, yeah, there's no way out of that hole. And then it just ends. But hold on. I think I do have the ability to do this. Oh, wait, that won't help me at all. Unless I do it like that. Yeah, you see that charge in the top right? Like, our bombs in this shmup are, uh, are scrolling the screen up, buying ourselves more time, effectively. Oh my God, I hate game. the physics of this ball, by the way. Yeah, it looks bad. Especially because you have to specifically tell it I want to go kind of sideways or I want to go up. Well, I mean, that's fine. At least having the granularity over it means that, like, you have, like, more control than in an Arkanoid or what have you. Well, I think usually the granularity you get is from where you hit it. Yeah, but that's harder to pull off for someone like me who's, who's eternally yeah. bad at this shit. And it also helps, like, in Arkanoid, you, you have, like, a bar and not a ball. Number of it? I can't, believe this game, I can't believe this game made me defend Arkanoid in any way, shape, or form. This is round one. How many how do we get to the end of a round? How do we how many stages are in a round here? Oh well, how many fruits are there? First we're gonna find out. Oh look, it's back to a different uh, bottom of the screen. So they alternate that per stage. I wonder if this is like the equivalent of a boss fight, the fact that it's different stage design of sorts. Well, that's just me. That's just me being bad. Uh, me being reckless. Uh, who the fuck are you? 
Who's this guy? Who's this guy driving to the bottom of the screen? <laughs> oh, that's the guy who's possessing her. He just came in to say hi. Check up on you. You, you liking the strawberry dream? <laughs> I worked real All hard right, on this ya. one. Slender Perfect says, is change. This game, is this game going to be weird and say tomatoes are a fruit or something? I, I hate to break it to you. In a dream world, there is no limit to her desires. To satisfy her rich appetite, she dreams of expensive jewels. Okay, so we've moved past the fruit portion. Now we are in the jewel section. So you see, there, there's themes. They're, they're trapping well, in some sort of idea here. Not a good one, but it's... <laughs> Do, do you think they just came up Fine. with, like, this le these levels first, and then they were like, we can't s sell a game like this, we need a story. Wait, hold on. I, I, I typoed bad. I want to see if they give me a continue. Yes, they do. All right, I'm going to do one continue. Just because I, I want to see if I can make it. No more rewinding. Let's just see how far I can make it on this. See if I've learned, picked up enough of this to... Try doing it like this. I just want to get it to go up the column. You know what I mean? Just like get if in you there to go, and ricochet. Yeah. If you wanted to go up well, the column, then you. Probably I said no rewind. Using... I just blatantly rewinded. It's. <laughs> I was about to say if you wanted to go up the column, you probably shouldn't be using the mode that makes it go sideways. Well, that's to make it bounce off the side, so it's like a like you know going all sorts of zigzags and. What happens if I touch this oh. timer? Oh, it just kills me. Okay. I guess I gotta hit that with the ball. I guess that makes sense. Uh, Anball Gang says... Oh, I was looking at chat, <laughs> and I got killed by diamonds. It says, so far, this looks like the least awful game we've played, tried tonight. Uh, I already forgot all the games we played tonight. I think there's a Rostin Saga 2 in there somewhere. Right. We played that Doughboy. Was we, played, we played Frontline. That F1 game. Duke Nukem. This is at Maybe. least interesting. Yeah. It's very badly <laughs> executed, though. Like, for what yeah. this is, it's a novel idea done not badly enough to be, like, offensively bad, but this is definitely, like... Confused, needed some tightening, needed like someone to be like, well, okay, here's the parts of this that work, here's the parts that don't work, here's how we mitigate these things for the player to make this like playable. It also seems like, except for the strawberry stage, there is one pattern. That is an issue. Now, I, granted, I have not learned the pattern. I have not learned how to excel oh, given the pattern. Oh, I, the, I, the, pa the pattern is there are three columns. <laughs> That's the pattern. Yeah, but I've not learned best practices. Also, I'm actually playing Duke to Duke and 3D on the Genesis tonight. That's the best game yeah, tonight, I, right? I, it's, I said it's that. The most, it, oh, well, I forgot already, which really goes to show how on the ball I am. I'm dropping off right now. Okay, well, this is technically a different pattern. And what a pattern Te it is. Very technically. It's the same three pattern, except now there's one gem in between every couple of them, and that's it. That'll do it for uh, Drop Off. And boy, how do, did it fall off? Uh, that's probably no, fine, that's though. that's the sequel. Oh, yes. I, I'm eagerly awaiting it. They, they say they're going to keep working on it. They say that they're tightening up the graphics in level 3, even though they'll eventually. Ma Magic, you know, I said, personally, I would rather play this than Duke Nukem on Genesis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only reason I started reading that comment because I thought you said it the other way around. <laughs> It is your pick. Is it now? Yes. Hmm. Uh, well, first of all, I gotta play the thing. Challenge time! Okay. I'm just gonna press all three buttons at the same time. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed, too. I don't know what that adds to it. Okay. You'll, you'll tell me what it is after okay. I press these buttons. Okay? Does that sound like a deal? I'll still have yep, my hand in sure. front of my closed eyes. Did they all oh, stop? Oh, Jesus. They all stopped. Well, good news. It's not a platformer. 
Uh, you got to play a Super Nintendo driving game. <sighs> well, it could be worse. It could be a platformer. It could have been a platformer. That I don't know. Is, been... is, is City Connection on SNES? Can we get you to play a platformer that way? <laughs> that would be truly devious of you. I don't know why I cut away from that screen so early. I don't have a game selected yet. Uh, Mateus Warrior says, an F1 driving game, perhaps? Go to hell. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking at my games for the Super Nintendo. You would think there would be. Oh, mm. we already did this one on a different program of ours. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm going to take a guess that this is going to be bad. Like, I don't know if it's bad, but I'm going to assume it's bad. Pitch it to me. Uh, Biker Mice from Mars. Is that actually a driving game? Yeah. Give me a second. So I can uh, acquire it. So I'm, I'm going to quickly drive to Walmart and mm -hmm. uh, pick up a copy. I'll do it while I'm on mic. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, do you have a copy of Biker Mice from Mars? Oh, you do. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Ding. Purchased it. Driving back home. And here I am. Uh, Bobinator says, oh, can you play the PAL version? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Yeah, let me just drive to the Walmart in France. Yeah, let me just drive over yeah. the, uh, the land bridge that they recently established. Bon Oi, bonjour. si vous play Biker Mice from Mars. Muy buen. All right, got him. Yeah, the, the checkout counters in Spain. <laughs> All right, give me two seconds here while I get this loaded up now. This is the PAL version of Biker Mice from Mars, which, of course, Bob would just know off the back. Uh, they'd be like, oh, you got to play the, the, this version specifically. That, that's the good stuff. Huh? Huh? Hold on. There was, there was a screen before that. This is the screen I was saying huh at initially. I saw the Snickers and the Mars thing. Yeah. And also Brentwood Television Funnies. Yeah. I mean, Biker Mice from Mars was a, was a cartoon show. Konami? I didn't have the release info on this game, by the way, because it wasn't in my library. I don't, maybe this isn't bad. Who knows? I just assume it's bad because it's a cartoon show that got an SNES racing game. We have not had good luck with that. And I'm playing this one, right? Yes. <laughs> I had to remember. Auto Excel. Yes, please. Engine power in versus race. We're going to have to try a versus race after this. Sick. Uh... Natsume says this game is actually quite fun. We'll we'll see. <laughs> main race, battle race. I guess I'll do main. I guess I'll do it on normal. I'm the leader of the biker mice. My specialty is the tornado shot, says Throttle. Who's eating who's holding onto a Snickers bar? Who <laughs> they are doing a ritual to appease Snickers. I'm going to knock you out with my bionic crash, says Moto, who's also enjoying a Snickers bar. Oh, Bob, good call on the PAL version. Nobody's faster than me. I'll jump over all of you, says Vinny, who coincidentally just happens to have a Snickers bar in hand, by the way. After I zap you with my electric shot, I'll take over Chicago, says Limburger, who's not eating Limburger cheese, but is also eating Chicago, Chicago Mars. I'm the slickest guy on three wheels. I'm going to grease you, says Grease Pit. And what's that, what's that he's holding in his hand? Curious. That's a, that appears to be a Snickers bar. I'm the best scientist. I don't have a scientist voice, it turns out. Do you have a scientist voice? A mad scientist? Uh, what's that? <laughs> I'm the best scientist ever. I'll turn you all into mutants. Says Carbuncle, who's I doing love experiments Snickers. with a Snickers bar. He's going to inject that Snickers bar with whatever he's got in that syringe. I can explain anything with science except for how these Snickers taste so good. 
Throttle's cute. I like Throttle. I don't know anything about these characters or this show, but... I feel like the villain should be holding, like, a competing candy bar, right? Or, like a, or you know, if they don't want to give, like, extra they're, brands... They're holding celery and carrots, and they're just like, Yeah, exactly, gross. exactly. <laughs> Round one, rock and ride, baby! Oh, it's one of these. We're going I don't have any points shop. or money. Rock on! Rock on. Tubular, totally. Square town. A bunch of squares live here. This this this, this I... has the potential to be okay. Oh no, it's an isometric racer, so no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I knew this much about this game, which is why I said it's probably bad. <laughs> oh, am I holding the wrong button? What is going on here? How do I go faster? Do you find the wheelie button? I found strafing. How did I fuck this up already? I'm pressing square and, and, and cross, and neither seems to make me go faster. Is it triggers? No, the triggers do that. Okay, let me figure this out. Snickers! Snickers power! Oh, that's... That's why. You I don't race like you when you're hungry. Shut up. Snickers. Yeah, I'm trying to find any way to go faster than this. There's items, uh, apparently. I found a nitro boost. I Maybe it really is just contingent on the items, yeah. I can go ahead and tell you that uh, I've never seen this show when I was a kid. Oh, neither have I. Okay, I got the controls here. Accelerate is going to be X for you, or cross. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that, and it really doesn't feel like I'm getting any speed at all. Uh, item is circle. Cool, I rode that right into a corner. Attack is uh, square. What the fuck am I? Oh, well, that was triangle cool. is Triangle is break. What does square do? Square is attack. I'll use up my attacks. Hey, I'm going to say this game is not good. I'm <laughs> going to say this belongs on the show. The sense of speed is uh, non-existent in this. Which is very typical of SNES games in my uh, experience. Uh, it says when you go off of a jump, you should hit accelerate repeatedly for a dash. He's saying fuck off or rock on. He's saying rock on. My shortest time was 2360. Rough. Even winners need something to satisfy their hunger, like a Snickers bar, for example. God. <laughs> Rough start. Fully aware of what I'm doing. Drink up, Can't don't mind see? if I do while we're between screens. Status. Engine, tire, food. <sighs> Who's this lady? Why isn't she a rat? Why isn't she holding a Snickers? Snickers cost $2,500. Wow. <laughs> Mars economy is fucked. <laughs> You don't have that money. <laughs> no, I certainly don't. Man, shrinkflation hit the uh, candy bar economy hard. Mid-Sea Island. This is going to go great. I can, I can tell with the amount of jumps here. Why did we ever think an isometric perspective was like a good perspective for anything, for any genre? I, th I feel like that's probably... Um... The fault of Europe. It's always those Europeans, I tell you. Something like, has to be done about them. Like your, you know, ZX Spectrums and your Amigas. Well, I'm ahead, but I don't feel like I'm ahead. I feel like this is precarious, that I'm going to lose this at any second. I'm also just mashing the accelerate button at all times, whether I'm jumping off a ramp or not. Because as long as it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything when I'm holding it down... Ugh. 
Vroom. Okay, when you're in, like, stuff like that water, you're going to want to hold B and down on the, uh... Oh. Don't know what that is. But I say, hold B and down on the D-pad to do a wheelie, and that gets you over, like, rough terrain better. Oh my god, the items here are worse than fucking Mario Kart. Might as well just be hitting with blue shells every five seconds. Three laps to go. You're not allowed to get ahead. Rock on. I'm, I'm trying that. Wasn't happening. I'm sure it's an issue in execution, but I uh, also don't think this game is particularly well executed. I get an item. I want that Snickers bar. No, it's like he's getting a lousy nitrous. Ooh, you're getting me ahead in the race. Yeah, uh, I'm sticking to my guns. This is a bad game. And people who enjoyed it in their childhood, who are nostalgic for it, who have any affection for it, they're the ones who are wrong. I'm right. Wait, did my bike... Everything went bad for you. Can I even catch up? Is there even any hope? Was it literally just like, ah, fuck you, you got too far ahead. What, you were competing? Well, we can't have that. Got Mario carded. I think I triggered an earthquake. Jesus. Yeah, there it is. That's karma coming back. Finishing not last. That's all I want out of this. Fuck! <laughs> well, you know, I didn't well, finish last. Yet. Yeah. Well, says, I swear cool. I don't remember this game being this slow. We are playing the PAL version. Playing the PAL version? It's an SNES game, which, which are all uh, the slowest games known to man. Nothing to waste your time like an SNES game. Even winners need something to satisfy their hunger. <laughs> do we want to jump into the two player, one two player race and then yeah, move on? Yeah, let's do that, then move on to our last game of the night after that. Oh. Let's do a battle race or a versus race? Uh, battle, battle race. race I, well, we'll see what that is. Look at that rotating planet, by the way, in the bottom. Look at that chunky ass. Yeah, I'm a good guess. It's probably an educated guess he took there. I probably should have. <laughs> Let's rock and ride. Rock and ride. Multitasking here. Yeah, okay. Did I give? Who, who are you feeling? You, you like you like throttle? Uh. Oh my god, Definitely Vinny has no me. speed. Imagine playing the slowest character in this game. I'll be Moto. You'll be Moto? Hello, yeah. Moto. I guess I'll be, uh... You know, let's see how slow slowest is. Nobody is faster than me, he says. He literally has the slowest speed. Well, we don't have any well, points. no money. Can we not select anything here? You know, maybe the versus mode. Maybe we need to go back to versus. Maybe sure. this battle race is is some... What I assume would be battle mode, like, you know, like a Mario Kart battle mode mm -hmm. is, is actually the versus it. mode in Brands. here. Thank you, The Den of Games, for rating. We're just playing Biker Mice from Mars for the Super Nintendo. Brought to you by Snickers. The stream brought to you by Snickers. Snickers bite into it. That's their slogan, right? That's their catchphrase? Sure. Okay, Snickers, here we it, go. Snickers, put it in your mouth. City, island, sewerage. Sewerage? Sewerage. Well, the maze. That has to be the worst combination. That has to be like kryptonite for me. 
a, a maze sewer race map. <laughs> or, or you can you can go the high rent version of that with the King's Labyrinth. Across the drain. Sewer trap. Let's do the sewer trap. You know, let's just go all in on the sewers. Hell of a course. <laughs> try this course? I mean, do we have to? You could try, but... All right, I'm on the bottom this time. Yeah, no, it's not like the F1 game. Uh, this sewer brought to you by Snickers, by the way. They had a billboard. Yeah, they, they literally had a Snickers <laughs> billboard in the sewers. Yeah, for, for whose benefit? <laughs> also, uh, this game does not work with split screen. Uh, I can tell you I cannot see fucking shit in front of me. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. H hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you could, instead of that, you could have said turn. <laughs> no, danger was good enough. Four laps to go. Are they going to give me any fucking items? I can jump as this guy, by the way. Ugh. But I have to know that danger actually means turn right. And danger here means, well, turn left, but I didn't get a chance. I guess you should theoretically be looking at, like, the mini-map. So you can tell where turns come from. Yeah, but then but you're man. not looking at the map-map. Just horrible implementation of this. No one's favorite multiplayer game, I gotta say. Even people who are nostalgic for this game... Uh, I can't imagine they have many fond memories of this multiplayer mode because this is uh, not enough space to do fucking shit. Oh god, there's so many laughs. <laughs> it's five, but it's a short course. There's no way for oh, me to speed up. There's actually no way for me to win as this character at this point. Unless you, like, oh, fuck up I horribly. Fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. There's not going to be power-ups for every lap like there were in the, the campaign mode, so I don't have, like, any items or any recourse anyway to even the playing field, which I guess is, like, you know, purity. It means that it comes down to pure racing prowess, which I, you know, might, some people might prefer. Mario Kart, no items. Is that a thing? Can you play Mario Kart without items so it's just, like... Uh, the gentleman's Mario Kart? Yeah. Final Destination rules or whatever the fuck those Smash players get up to. I I'm sure you could play no item Mario Kart somehow. That must be an option. Please go faster. <laughs> okay. I lost. Who would have thought that choosing the slowest character would mean that I couldn't well, You had the pace. best acceleration, which was, I That's guess, That's great. I can accelerate to, to nothing. I can accelerate to a whopping, like, 20 miles per hour. Rad. Uh, that, that'll, oh, that'll do. That's it. That'll do it for Biker Mice from Mars. Uh, good call, by Bob, on that uh, SNES, uh, the, the PAL version. Uh, apparently, the North American version does not have all that uh, wonderful product placement in it, which seems like a big loss. Yeah. Like, the, why even play the, the game uh, if not for that? The North American version has TurboTax product placement. Shit. Well, we should we should check that out then for a point of comparison. Oh, no. They're telling me that we can't do that. We're telling They're telling us that we have one game left to play tonight, and it will not be another Biker Mice from Mars. All right, so it's my pick for the last one, and I'll do what you did: is I'll close my eyes oh, while you hit. Well, all I three press the, the buttons time. on my end because yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, ready? All right. They're they're closed. Go. You're good. Yeah, they're closed. Put and your blindfold go. on on top of it too. Yeah, I did. Okay. And then put your and... hand in front of the blindfold. Yep, doing that and go. What the fuck? PC Engine, any genre goes, but I'm stuck playing it. Okay. Hmm. PC Engine Heavy Night Tonight. Turbo Graphics, yeah. NEC Company, they, they product placement on this show. They, they they paid to get the word out. And we're more than happy to oblige. Uh, yeah, if anything goes, I mean, that opens me up. I, I can do yeah. any number of fucking games here. Uh, I could do something that is controversial. But I think people pretend to like this game. They're wrong. I swear we've played this in the show. Have we? Yeah. Maybe we have. In fact, no, you're right, we have. You know, PC Engine, PC Engine CD would count, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. This is not the worst game. In fact, this game is quite fun, but it's uh, cheesy. And you know, actually, you know what? On second thought, no, we're saving that. We're saving yeah, that for a yeah, double was... feature, these two games in the same night. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was thinking like, really, you're gonna bring that out now? Noriko long play. I do have Noriko here. Uh, I, I don't think we get very far in it, sad to say. By the way, the game that was controversial was Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. I think the game fucking sucks. Yeah. But uh, you've done China Warrior. We're, we're almost like cleared out of all the bad games here. I guess I could do this one that we've written an article about and see if I have any memory of how to play this. I would have to play the untranslated version to get it uh, the right way, though. Uh, this is a game we've covered on the site before. This is the PC Engine article on the site. This is Energy, a Japan exclusive from 1989, developed by Quasar Soft and published by Messiah. If you want to know more about it, go to badgamehallofame.com slash energy. But this is often touted as the worst game on the PC Engine as a whole. And uh, I'd be inclined to agree. Press that run button. This is going to be in Japanese. But okay, a... it's you're the one playing, though. Remember, it landed on you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is something to do with the effect of there's an invasion happening in the city. Uh, these these cutscenes are downgraded on the PC Engine from their PC-98 originals. This was a PC-98 game that was converted to the PC Engine. Uh, warning for gore. Is it? Or is it coming up? Uh, it's coming up. Right here. And now. Uh... There you oh. go. <laughs> we need to send in a task force, send in the Toma Force. That's the name of our squad of uh, teenagers with psychic abilities. Now, why did you say you had to play this untranslated? Uh, because the translation fucks with the game. The translation changes the balance of the game. And by balance of the game, I mean it speeds up something that should not be sped up. Oh, the... yo, God. Go... Dude, go to sleep. <laughs> He's been up for years. <laughs> okay, let's... let's. Because you can't skip this dialogue. Or advance it. No, no, oh, no, no, went too far. Okay, there we go. This is your name entry. You uh... get one playthrough in this game. You get one... One chance at it. Is the aspect ratio correct here? I always worry about this because I see those black borders around the screen. And Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. Do you have any up and down movement or are you just on this one plane? It's a platformer. So no up and down. But I can uh, stand still to recharge my ESP. This is what the screen transitions look like. Uh, Mega Man. Yeah, but for every screen. The translated version of this ROM fixes this by speeding it up by five times. And I just cannot abide by that. Oh, look, look at this helpless pedestrian we're going to save. Oh, thank you for rescuing me. My friends fell down that hole. Or something to that effect. And then, uh, yeah. Got the message, lady. I'm ready to help. Mm-hmm. Please reunite me with my friends, and then you push her in. You're On welcome, boss. citizen. By the way, she was a monster the entire time. Oh! Ha 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 ha! You, I tricked you. The oldest trick in the book. The old the eyeball hiding in the girl. Yep. Uh, this is an RPG of sorts, in that there's like progression. There's items you pick up. I guess that makes it more like an adventure game. But, uh, yeah, you have different, uh, ways of shooting. Hours? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think we actually have anything unlocked for that yet. That's a radio that we use, like, at one point in the game. I don't remember a lot of this. I, I did beat this. Uh, multiple times at a point in my life, but it, it's been a while. Again, check the article. It, it's exhaustive. It is the most comprehensive... English language article on this game. Maybe even the most comprehensive Japanese language. Uh, well, I mean, if, unless it's in Japanese, then it's not the most comprehensive Japanese article. Well, I mean, what I mean to say is it's more comprehensive than the Japanese article on the net that would be comparable to it. 
Just like our Death Crimson article is the number one Death Crimson article worldwide. The, the door time, I... It's just completely yeah. arbitrary, by the way. It doesn't have to do with killing all the enemies on screen. It's just like, oh, you took too long, so we're going to put up the barriers. So if you wanted... To... So if you had just booked it and took the damage, could you have just gone through there? Let, let's see. Let me, let me test that. I think maybe. Nope, not on no. the screen. Okay. I know, like, some of the different shots you get let you, like, change the trajectory of the bullet, but I'm forgetting how exactly to do that, or if I even have that unlocked. I think I just don't have it unlocked yet. Oh, I found some health, though. Pokemon uh, says the doors are inexplicably delayed for several seconds even after you defeat the monsters. The ROM hackers could not figure out how to fix that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Acquired something or other. Maybe that's... Okay, yeah, that's the powered-up version of this shot. I would presume. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. That's, yes, that's powered up. This means... The thing down there means that it's a straight shot, right? But we unlock uh -huh. the ability for it to go in weird cattywampus directions. And then we switch between that. Then the green is another, like, modifier. So basically you're modifying the attack using the different tools provided to you. It's all coming back to me. Uh, this game, I mentioned it was a PC-98 game initially that uh, Quasar Soft were a, a developer that had a handful of PC-98 games under their belt. And then ultimately tried to pivot to consoles with this with this version of one of their existing games. But this version is a straight downgrade in basically every way. Graphically, stage design. Is anything that can go wrong did go wrong with this. And uh, this is the result. Come on now. Die, please. Thank you. So I assume there's a boss oh, hold on. up ahead here. I want this health. Ah. Uh, not a boss yet. There are bosses in this game. Or maybe this counts? No. It's just that I saw that the door was now like an evil skull. <laughs> no, that's just, that's just the tile set. That's just variety. You know, variety is the spice of life, Sharky. New Game King asks what Caddy Wumpus means. Uh, like it's crooked. It's off angle, you know? Uh, it's not a straight line. All right. So this little guy here says, thank you for rescuing me. I'm going to go reunite with my mama now. Or something to that effect. Or let us know if you, if you need my help. Or it's something along those lines. This is the, the thing we lose out on by not playing this with its English translation. Which is like a fine translation. But uh, ultimately, I prioritize this. <laughs> Having this on every screen transition. And now, the most egregious scene in video game history. The most egregious bullshit. Oh, well. <laughs> do you have to wait? Or, no, you have to do that. Oh, you still do have to wait, don't you? Something. Are you not selecting it correctly? <sighs> there it is. And here's the main theme of the game. Alright, this guy's gonna ferry us across the river. Across the body mm -hmm. of water. Are you ready for it? Yeah, go for it. It's happening right now. Again, I'm pressing buttons, nothing's happening. It's going at its own pace. That's the name of the game here. All right. All right, let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ever play Undertale? All the way from right to left. <laughs> you remember this in Undertale? <laughs> yeah, I do. Still alive, okay, thank God. 
very cool that you have to wait for that in real time. That the screen I hope there's transitions like a, are like that. I hope there's like a fetch quest where you have to go back and forth between these two things constantly. Not constantly, but you do have to go back and forth. Okay. Like, you're going to need to get the uh, chicken and the chicken feed on the boat, and you're going to leave the wolf behind. And then the scorpion stings the bug. It stings the weird alien thing, and they're like, why? Because it's my nature. It sure would be nice to have the shot that goes up. Oh, can I just go down? Oh, that's right. There's no, like, there's no way to block off these screens, so. But I chose wrong. I chose the wrong path. And I, I will pay the price for it, which is having to scroll back up. <laughs> I hope we're on the right path right now. Guess we'll find out. Uh, remains to be seen. No. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Hey, guess what? We gotta go all the way back up now. So, I think we're not playing the translated version. <laughs> hate that. Fully aware God of forbid. Doing. Perish the thought. Can you see? Whatever, I'm just gonna take damage to save time. Like, who does that? Who consciously does that? And like, this is a good challenge for the player. No, it's just tedium. I mean, I've seen Mario Maker levels do that, <laughs> and they usually get booed. What do I want to kill every enemy in this? I couldn't do that. They wouldn't let me because I... There we go. My bloodlust is sated. Nope. Oh, bad news. Don't mind me, I was a little stuck there. Fuck. So you do have one life, correct? For yes. the entire game? Okay. Are you up here, glasses? Yeah. This guy has a tragic death scene. He's one of the three team members uh, in the Toma Force. Uh, but he's, uh, dead here, and he gives us his glasses as a parting gift. But first we have to kill a boss, I think. This is meant to be I a just... dramatic, sad moment. It's, uh, not coming across. And boss fight. Uh, this is like, uh, Ninja Gaiden. Zap, you like Ninja Gaiden. Have you figured out the strategy yet, by the way? Um, I have a hunch, but... Oh! Very good. Alright, what's Boss? the store telling you? Uh, he's telling me that he's basically dying. He's okay. just like, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking make it, dude. Take my glasses. And there's our name. I can tell it's our name. Now oh, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> Someday he'll be a boss. <laughs> oh, I left these things alive. That's not good. I think they just respawn. Game oh, over. Phew. Not even like a hit animation to end it. Just like a just game just stops. This is a roughly two hour one and a half hour game so you know it's like you know it, it, i guess it's you know not the biggest loss but if you make it like the hour and a half in and then the last second brick it on the final boss or something that would suck right uh yeah if you want to know more about that game as i mentioned badgamehalloffame.com slash energy uh or i could play the uh, north american version for like a minute here i, I could try to quickly blitz through it and show you what is probably the, the correct way to play this game? Energy. Let's see what they were saying now. This is a disaster. I think it's the first line, if memory serves. Yeah, there we go. Tokyo's been destroyed. Oh, she's blinking. 
the girl on the right was blinking real fast. Yeah, now you can advance the text a lot quicker too, which is another benefit. Uh, Mobilize the Toma Force immediately. I was mostly on. A few hours later, all communication with the Toma Force have been lost. I can't reach Koichi. Sense? No response from Peaches. Captain, we're backed into a corner. No, did yeah. they censor the blood? Nope, not at all. We're the only warrior left. Up to us to save Tokyo. The secret weapon for the captain, but I don't know how to use it. it. That's the radio we have. You literally use it on the final boss to summon the rest of your Toma Force teammates, and that's it. Please enter your name. Let me... Left and right don't do anything. Nothing does anything here. This is the most unresponsive... Oh my mm. god, whatever. Mm. By the way, you could go left here, theoretically. Let's do that. Whoa! See, novel concept, right? Yeah. So this is probably, if you this... intend to play this game for yourself, do it this way. Don't torture yourself. Where is everyone? Ah, you're a warrior of justice? A monster came out of this hole. Please, you must kill it. Psych. Bwahahaha, you fool. Death awaits those who disobey Hebron. Oh. Now, you you didn't tell me the North American PC engine, which is to say the TurboGrafx, had blast processing. <laughs> this is this never came out in North America, to be clear. Oh. This is a fan translation, fan hack. Ah, uh, okay. I don't, I don't know if I made that abundantly clear earlier. This was a Japanese exclusive, but... It is. Uh, for good reason. Any minute now. There we go. I, I don't have like the... Like, the game itself is running at a faster clip, too, right? Mm, like, just... No. Because it seems like it to me. Maybe. It feels like it. Maybe it's moving a little faster. Oh, nope. great. I think these are triggered by, like, your distance across the screen. I think there's just arbitrary points where it... Power-up kit number two. Don't mind if I fucking do. All right. Let us through. Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely moving faster, for sure. For the best. But if you want that, you know, original, raw experience, then I mean, you gotta, nothing compares to the Japanese version. The original Japanese language, Japanese release. You still have to wait forever for those things, which is, God, you know, these... they couldn't help. They, the hackers could not figure out a way around that. I wish I knew the name of the hacker what group, is... so I can congratulate. I, I mentioned them in the article, I'm sure. I just don't remember them offhand. Despite being an expert at this game, the North America's leading expert in energy... Can't believe the. Oh, wait, hold on. Western. Can't believe the Western version uh, censored the load times. <laughs> Censorship they always is fuck, worst. Yeah. They always fuck with the Japanese versions. The original vision is compromised here. Can't you believe they would sell about, it in this way. Did you hear about um, the Lollipop Chainsaw remaster remake that they're doing? I think you told remaster me about it. Remake? Well, I. I did not tell you about this aspect of it, which is um, that they're including a mode that is edited a bit. So it's like like some stuff is removed. Some of the riskier jokes are taken out. But there's all it's also included with like the original stuff. So you can play it with or without like, you know, voluntary censorship. And like people are complaining about it. Saying like, oh, they're censoring our games when they're literally giving you the choice to not play it censored. Just the fact that there is like a, a censored mode within the game that you could choose is getting people pissed off about censorship. That's because people games. are fucking morons. That's because people, yes. you know, advocate for like, you know, we want choice. We need ages. We need like, you know, options, choices. And they're like, not those choices. Everyone has to suffer the same way I did. All right, there we go. I saw a human trap down below. He looked kind of like you. This time around, we'll get to see uh, Glass's dying words. Yeah, it's the people left are bringing one, up right? that. Yeah. Yes. People are bringing up that this, the censorship stuff is probably like Twitch friendly version. Because <laughs> it takes out some gore and stuff like that. Oh, I'm stuck inside those things. I'd rather not be. 
Un, ah. Uh, ah. Brrr. It's me, Glasses. You idiot, why are you here? I told you not to come. You'll get stoned like me. Oh, hell yeah, pass it. <laughs> Run away. Maha, too late. You're trying to fool. You're a fool to try and spoil <laughs> my plans. I will change this world to a paradise for demons. Peaches was already eaten, and Glasses will soon croak too. You'll never leave this room alive. They want to bet? If I can just get on top of that. Yeah, there we go. All right, bye, buddy. Good attempt. Look at him chomping down. Look at him nomming. Here we go. Oh, right. It's always so that last one. <laughs> Did you hear that? This is terrible. Was our friend for me now? really eaten okay. by... Well, you were... You, you took it over. So I, I, I just I just wanted to do the... Blah, 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 noise. I'll completely turn to stone soon. Take this and avenge Peach's death. Please. B, B, B. Took the red energy power up, yeah, but then they die. I guess we don't get the glasses until later. Here we go. And now you can see what a uh, power up looks like. They shoot red. Uh, yeah, so this game goes on. There's some uh, less than stellar sections of it. This this room in particular comes to mind. Uh... Whoa! Hello. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I remember you from the surface. Ah, oh, we're all gonna die. Shut up, you big baby. So if I want to go up again, and imagine this with all the screen uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> imagine this with the full extent of... Come on, how did I get it to work the first time? There we go. Now, there is one thing about this hallway. You have to keep coming back to this hallway because there is a character who can heal you. This idol over here who will sing to you. There's also the uh, Messiah developers up there, I, I believe, if I can get up. No, nope. how am I supposed to get up there? How do, how do I negotiate around that rock? There's gotta be a way. Uh huh. There's like a way to talk to those maybe, guys. One of them like references maybe you the fall side. down from above. Maybe there's somewhere else you can yep. go to. Hey you, where did you come from? I'm Yukiko, and I'm so it's so lonely and boring here. Hey, I know. I'll sing a song for you. Don't touch. Don't kiss. My heart, love. As Yukiko sings, something strange happens. Gotta watch the both the bars replenish. Even though ESP recharges automatically. This was, Even though I could have just cut to a and, full bar of health. And this was five times slower in the original version. Yes! Am I... Are you right? Am I right? Was I it actually so. five times slower? <laughs> Ribbit? I won't let you pass. Ribbit? Ribbit? Ribbit's an eyeball! <laughs> I think I do need to get up. I need to find a way to that top portion of the screen. Otherwise, this is a dead end. Unless I come in from the top, like you said. Yeah, that's probably the way. As a matter of fact. Well, I don't feel like backtracking all the way back to the beginning of the yeah. game. What you have to do at least several times over the course of the game is go in a full circle. Back up through all the places you've been. So, uh, that's going to do it for energy. But if you want to see more about this, uh, maybe we'll full play through it one day if we run, really run out of ideas. Uh, or otherwise, just read the article in the meantime. And that's, that's probably going to be your best bet for all your energy needs. You know what that means, though, Sharky? Oh, what does it mean? It means we're done for the night. And Ball, Gang, and Ball Gang says that's the most boring one we tried tonight. No, that F1 game is. Please. Yeah. <laughs> that means it does it for the show tonight. That means we're done. We survived another chance time, Sharky. Yay. <laughs> but, I mean, I survived. You, you do just yeah. fine on these things. You, you, you enjoy the segment. I enjoy the segment conceptually. <laughs> One last drink up on the way out. Uh, yeah, that was bad game chance time. Uh, we we did that in instead of doing a uh, starting a new playthrough tonight. That's that's why we set on chance time initially. 
Uh, we'll figure out a new playthrough for next Tuesday. I don't know. Maybe we need to, we should expand our variety nights onto other nights. We had some pretty good viewership tonight. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Yeah, we did. Thank you like, all for joining like us. People like these theme matches, and it's like people like the chance time, and then the segments we have like that. And maybe we should prioritize those a little bit. But who's to say? Uh, <laughs> uh, if you liked what you saw here tonight, consider subscribing here on Twitch, pledging to us on Patreon, supporting the show financially, and gaining access on our Discord server to the Patreon Saints channel, wherein you can vote in upcoming polls and make suggestions as to what games you want to see us play. And uh, as a matter of fact, we're starting our next playthrough, our next Patreon-voted playthrough this coming Thursday, so two days from now. It'll be Blue Stinger on the Dreamcast. We did a poll encompassing a number of uh, bad games around centered around aliens. I don't know if Blue Stinger's a bad game. Probably the best game on the list, so it might be a treat. Who's to say? Uh, but that will be our new playthrough starting on Thursday for however long it lasts. And when that ends, we will put up a new poll. This is the pattern. This is how we run the show. Uh, and, and if you like the show and are not able to financially support us, we completely understand that as well. Maybe consider uh, sharing some of these videos, especially the YouTube archives. We have a playlist up on YouTube, as a matter of fact. It's called Suggested Viewing, and it contains some of our favorite videos that we've put out. Things we, episodes we think make for good onboarding for new folk who might potentially be interested in the show. So that's a uh, great way to, to onboard folk. Uh, to share those videos around. Or maybe you know someone who really likes Chance Time, who really likes the idea of a suffering. Maybe you know someone who really likes Snickers bars and might really get a kick out yeah. of that Biker Meister Mars segment. Who's to say? We leave that in your capable hands, viewers. Uh, and we thank you, either way, just for watching, just for tuning in, just for coming along with us on this, this wild ride, man. Uh, we should see who is streaming and see if we can't uh, point a raid their way. I think that's the, the, the etiquette thing to do. Mm -hmm. Um, It looks like chess, video chess, is playing uh, Black Myth Wukong, which I've heard things about. I've heard some things about. Uh, about their advertising, but uh, I hear the game is fine. So maybe that'll be a good way to uh, to figure out what that game is actually about, because I have not seen a second's worth of gameplay of that game, I can tell you that much. Uh, I saw the final boss fight, and that was it. <laughs> That's a good place to start, I think. That's a good place to to, to get onboarded on that. Uh, anyway, you know, consider giving it a shot. Let them know that uh, we sent you, that Bad Game Hall of Fame sent you there to Video Chess. And uh, thank you again uh, for, for tuning in tonight to the Bad Game Hall of Fame. Uh, thank you uh, for showing up for these things. It does mean a lot, especially when you, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to get sentimental here or anything. Uh, we are time for it at the end of the show, at the end of a chance time, at the end of our comedy show. But uh, it, it's just always nice when folk turn out for these things. It's nice to know that our, our weird shit, uh, that our weird show resonates with some folk, that, that we have uh, the room to explore weirdo stuff. And, and that people will routinely like talk during it and and add to it and and look up stuff for us. It's just a nice little thing we run here. I'm happy to have it. I, I changed my hours at work. I, I'm working a lot more hours now. Early hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, earlier than I than I like. So it, it's good that you know, even though I'm pretty tired at this hour of the day now, more tired than I used to be, it, it still perks me up peps me up when I, you know, I get on the show, when I'm with my friend Sharky, with my co-host, compatriot Sharky, and we do the fine show for the fine folk at home. That's all I really want to say. All right, bye! Oh, good night, everybody. <laughs>